the road to WrestleMania is a journey filled with twists and turns, but none loom larger than the ominous structure known as the Elimination Chamber. As we inch closer and closer to the grandest stage of them all, tonight stands as the final opportunity for many superstars to pave their way down the aisle on the biggest night of the year. The chance to headline the showcase of the Immortals hangs in the balance. The road to WrestleMania comes to a screeching halt inside Satan's prison. Tonight, six men and six women will find themselves enclosed in a structure forged from devastating chains and unyielding steel. The only way out, a path fraught with ultimate demise. For those who survive, the reward is the richest prize, the chance to challenge for gold at WrestleMania. Questions abound tonight. Who will hold those championships at the show of shows? A monster has awakened, and Braun Strowman, bigger, faster, and stronger than ever, has returned with a singular goal to bring the WWE Championship in to WrestleMania. Yet an opportunistic visionary, Seth freaking Rollins, looks for his luck to persist, defying the odds time and time again. But will tonight be the night his luck runs dry. For the first time ever, a battle of titans seizes control of South Beach. The Beast, the Conqueror, Brock Lesnar, seeks to topple the dominating Ring General Gunther. Words cannot do justice to this colossal meeting of giants. Tonight, they stand at a crossroads with only one of them able to stake their claim in the main event of WrestleMania. Time is running out and opportunity hangs in the balance. Tonight, survival is not just an option, it's a must. Those left standing will be one step closer to immortality. This is the Elimination Chamber and the road to WrestleMania continues tonight. We are live in South Beach, in the home of the Miami Marlins, Lone Depot Park, Miami, Florida. Tonight, the superstars of Raw and SmackDown look to hit their biggest Grand Slam yet on the road to WrestleMania. Tonight is the last opportunity to earn number one contendership and to take the gold into the show of shows here at South Beach. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. We welcome you to the Elimination Chamber, an epic live premiere event in front of a capacity crowd in Lone Depot Park. And what bigger way to kick things off than with a rivalry that has been brewing for the last several months on SmackDown, the Cruiserweight Championship of the World is at stake. And I'll tell you what, this devilish SOB, the Irish ace, JD McDonough, may have played his cards right over the last several weeks on SmackDown, earning himself a second opportunity to win the Cruiserweight gold. JD McDonough unleashed the fury on Ilya Dragunov weeks ago on the blue brand, setting his sights for the title. The two men met on the New Year's Revolution edition, the first SmackDown of 2024. And unfortunately for JD McDonough, he came up short in his pursuit of the Cruiserweight Championship. But that was not the last tale that was written between these two stars. You remember in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup, cameras rapidly cutting in the backstage area where JD McDonough ambushed the Cruiserweight Champion. 
Drag it off with a retaliate the SmackDown later. Laying out McDonough. Face to face in the middle of the squared circle, but that was just a message sent. Tonight is the war between these two men with the championship at stake. And I'll tell you what, JD McDonough, we said he might have played his cards right. Has he gotten into the mind of the man Dragon himself, Ilya Dragunov? Dragunov is going to be coming into this fight hell bent on retribution for that assault back at the Royal Rumble. And of course, the previous assaults that kicked off this whole issue back on SmackDown. Ilya Dragunov needs to remain focused on the end goal, and that is retaining his Cruiserweight Championship. And there's one thing that has been well documented about that mad dragon who is walking down the aisle, and that is, that is that he thrives on punishment inside the squared circle. Such a tough man to beat. Dragunov has found numerous success since joining the main roster back in 2022. Last year at this time, Dragunov was on his way to WrestleMania to win the Intercontinental Championship. In 2023, we saw him win the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament and of course kick off his reign as Cruiserweight Champion back in November at Survivor Series. Dragunov looking to continue that success in 2024. But JD McDonough is the roadblock for Dragunov here to kick things off tonight at the Elimination Chamber. And you gotta wonder, has the Irish Ace gotten into the mind, poisoned the mind, and the strategy of Ilya Dragunov? And is Dragunov gonna be thrown off his game once and for all here tonight in Miami, Florida? We wanna thank you for joining us tonight. This is the Elimination Chamber event. We are on the road to WrestleMania. And tonight is gonna to answer a lot of questions about the show of shows, but first things first, the Cruiserweight Championship of the World is on the line. Introducing the challenger from Bray, Kelly Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. And his opponent, from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov! I'll tell you what, there's going to be multiple big fight fields here tonight in South Beach. But the Cruiserweight Championship, the first of its kind here at the Elimination Chamber. J.D. McDonough taking one more look at the prize that he has been in pursuit of for the last quite some time on Friday Night SmackDown. New Year's Revolution did not go the way of the Irish Ace, but will tonight tell a different story. The bell has sounded and we are underway and Ilya Dragunov exploding high out of the gate. You gotta expect nothing less from the Mad Dragon. The Invincible One himself. Remember what happened back in New Year's Revolution, Dragunov, when we talked about it, same story, if you will. Dragunov was looking for retribution on that night for the ambush that JD McDonough issued that really kicked off this whole situation between these two gentlemen. Remember back at New Year's Revolution, JD McDonough tried to throw Dragunov off his game and deliver. Ilya Dragunov with his own maneuver that torpedo Moscow out of the corner. And not only did it not go the way of McDonough, but it only fired up the Mad Dragon. Dragunov put JD McDonough through the barricade, issued a torpedo Moscow himself, and retained the Cruiserweight Championship. And that was, of course, just 48 hours before the Royal Rumble, where JD McDonough only upped the ante of the whole situation. Both these men have found success in recent weeks on SmackDown, but tonight is for all the marbles, and so far, J.D. McDonough has turned the Mad Dragon on its head. Imagine if Ilya Dragunov's road to WrestleMania gets spoiled here tonight in South Beach by the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough. McDonough looking to walk into the grandest stage of them all. AT&T Stadium, Dallas, Texas. J.D. McDonough could very well be on the marquee as the Cruiserweight Champion. That is what these two men are duking it out for tonight. 
What a stiff shot by McDonough. Nothing pretty about that, and you expect nothing less between these two bruisers inside of the ring. Look at McDonough, double underhook powerbomb, beautifully executed by the challenger. Into the cover here, and Dragunov getting the shoulder up. We talked about it as the champion was making his way down the aisle tonight. Dragunov, a sick son of a gun inside of that ring. He thrives off the punishment, but how will that fare in this emotional battle versus McDonough tonight? Dragunov has found lots of success over the last 12 months in the WWE. Looking to go into his second WrestleMania, holding championship gold. McDonough looking to play spoiler. JD McDonough is delivering a couple of stiff shots to Dragunov, and that is what he has got to do to wear down the champion. He's trying to throw anything he can. This absolute psychopath at times. The cruiserweight champion, and McDonough, discord elbow. And not enough. Ripcord elbow. Ilya Dragunov surviving, but certainly not thriving at the current moment. J.D. McDonough may have played his cards right as he enters Lone Depot Park as the challenger. He could be leaving as the champion. Counter by Dragunov, and look at that very creative reversal that time. Nice takedown. No way to counter that one. Dragunov climbing up McDonough. Oh, now going for that lariat. In the corner, J.D. McDonough did his homework. Not the first rodeo between these two men. McDonough came with a game plan and read Dragunov's book front to back. Dragunov likes to implore those double lariats in the corner. McDonough saw it coming from a mile away, and now it's the Irish ace in control in the opposite corner. J.D. McDonough has been the aggressor in this cruiserweight title matchup. Oh, wait a minute. Can't tell from our vantage point, but I believe Dragunov may have been busted wide open off that boot. And if so, that is... Oh, wait a minute. Dragunov off the reversal. Dragunov indeed has been busted wide open in your opening matchup here at the Elimination Chamber. And that's going to go one of two ways. It's either going to fire up the champion as he throws off punishment from bell to bell, or it's going to be a target for J.D. McDonough. Oh, look at McDonough on the receiving end of a couple of chops. Dragunov busted wide open and has seemingly flipped the switch. There is something not right about the Mad Dragon. There are some screws loose in the Cruiserweight Champion, but that is what has brought him so much success. And look how he thrives off the punishment and gets fired up in the middle of Miami, Florida. Back into the corner. There's the Lariat. Could be going for the dose. That time he delivers it. Nothing McDonough can do. No answer. Into the cover. Not enough to keep the challenger down, but Ilya Dragunov has come alive here at Elimination Chamber. The Cruiserweight Championship is on the line in the most personal battle fought over this championship in quite some time. 2023, one of the best feuds of the year is between the newly Tag team members of Latino World Order, Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio. They had some wars in 2023, the first half of the year for the Cruiserweight title. This tonight feels like the most important Cruiserweight Championship match since that feud last year. Dragunov on the outside and again has just completely turned this match on its head. It was all J.D. McDonough from the opening bell until Dragunov was busted wide open. And Ilya Dragunov coming alive. Look at this. Breaks the count. What has he got in mind for McDonough? Remember what happened at New Year's Revolution? Same fight brought to the outside, and Dragunov put J.D. McDonough right through the barricade. Followed it up with a torpedo Moscow, and that was all she wrote that night. But this is a different chapter being written here in Miami, Florida. Will it be the same result? Ilya Dragunov with another stiff shot. J.D. McDonough is just feeling the brunt of the Cruiserweight Champion. There's a reversal that time. Wait a minute, don't take your eyes. Oh, this fire-breathing Dragon who explodes off the ropes with another lariat to McDonough. Into the cover, not just yet. McDonough may be surviving, but Ilya Dragunov is beginning to stack the offense, but don't speak too soon. McDonough pulling the rug out from underneath the Cruiserweight Champion. 
Now it's the champion on the chase as McDonough drops him with the snap German. Springboard, Tornado DDT on the open wound. The Irish ace may be closing in on gold. And Dragunov still in it. We have got a barn burner on our hands for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Oh, McDonough headbutt. This could be it. Saito. That could be all she wrote. J.D. McDonough laying out the Cruiserweight Champion, but is not elect for the pinfall as Dragunov way too close for comfort by those ropes. Oh, McDonough. I think he realizes who he's in the ring with. Looking to put the final nail in the coffin of this match, but Dragunov says otherwise. A misstep by the Irish ace. And the body of J.D. McDonough sent flying over the top rope. That was a huge miss opportunity for McDonough. The head butt to the open wound, followed by the Saito. McDonough's found so much success with that combination, but now it's Ilya Dragunov with a running head start taking McDonough off his feet. Gotta wonder if that was J.D. McDonough's best shot or if Ilya Dragunov is gonna leave him another window of opportunity to climb through. Back inside the squared circle this time, the Cruiserweight Champion, with a target on his skull and all, continues to fight. Oh my goodness, Dragunov unloading on McDonough. That is the aggression, that is the retribution coming out of the Mad Dragon tonight. McDonough paying for his sins in the Cruiserweight Championship match. Both men with stiff shots just trying to get their wits about him that time, and it's Dragunov delivering another one. Into the corner he goes. These guys entering championship rounds. You see the fatigue starting to set in, especially with the Cruiserweight Champion who somehow is scaling the ropes after the war these two men have put each other through. Thus far, going for the shoulder block. No, buddy, home. McDonough, su simple yet effective suplex that time. It goes for the cover. Oh, and a close call, got the two. Not the three, another counter by Dragunov. Overhead shot and a German by the champion. Ilya Dragunov is not human. Into the ropes. Not just yet, Dragunov pulls him back in for another stiff shot to the chest. Oh, wait a minute, what has the champion got in mind? Sent on off the apron, crushing the rib cage of the challenger at ringside. JD McDonough may rue the day. He ambushed Ilya Dragunov from behind because Dragunov's going for the kill. One of the baddest, most badass lariats in the industry today. Not just yet, McDonough's still into this, and you gotta wonder what it's gonna take to keep one of these two superstars down. J.D. McDonough's hanging in there by hook or by crook. And a reversal near the open wound. And J.D. trying to capitalize on a weakened dragon. Oh, look at this. Spanish fly. Dead center of the ring. And this late into the matchup could be a difference maker. And McDonough going to follow it up with a tope suicida. And this is what the Cruiserweight Championship is all about. What a way to kick things off here at the Elimination Chamber tonight. So much action on hand here in Miami, Florida. But the Cruiserweight Championship is what hangs in the balance in your opening moments as McDonough and Dragunov continue to wage war on this oh-so-important battlefield. McDonough on top, going for the elbow to no avail. Dragunov saw it coming from a mile away. Wait, wait a minute. Reversal. McDonough. McDonough's going to steal the title. No. Dragunov counters. Dragunov stacking up McDonough. Is he going to do it? Not just yet. Oh, my goodness. McDonough to the ropes. Another reversal that time. These guys throwing live rounds. This may come down to who gets that one final blow. And it could very well be, may be the champion. 
the aggressor at the current moment. J.D. McDonough trying to get his wits about him, but Ilya Dragunov is not giving him a centimeter to breathe. J.D. McDonough down and out, the cruiserweight champion. Although he is the one with the open wound, looks at looks like the proverbial shark that smells blood in the water. And Ilya Dragunov, look at the man dragon. Torpedo Moscow. And the cruiserweight championship of the world remains with the invincible one. Ilya Dragunov comes out on the other side of one hard fought war. I'll tell you what, these two men have been at each other's throats for weeks on SmackDown, but I think Dragunov put it to rest here tonight in South Beach. Here's your winner, and still the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov continues to get better in each and every performance inside of the ring. The success continues into 2024 as the Cruiserweight Championship of the World remains in the grasp of the Man Dragon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Elimination Chamber, and coming up next, the first of two chamber matches to decide championship challengers for WrestleMania. Three superstars from Raw, three from SmackDown compete to determine their brand's number one contender for the women's title at WrestleMania. Let's take a look at tonight's Elimination Chamber contest. Tonight, the road to WrestleMania takes a treacherous turn as 12 WWE superstars face a devastating blockade. The cruel, cold, and demonic structure known as the Elimination Chamber. A prison forged from steel and chains designed to torture the human body with absolute ruthlessness. Yet, within this unforgiving battleground, the toughest will rise. Stepping into this playground are three of Raw's future and established stars of the women's division, alongside three of SmackDown's hungriest talents. Within the confines of this steel behemoth, the sole survivor will stake their claim to challenge their brand's women's champion at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. But for five SmackDown superstars and one Hall of Famer, the road does not get any easier. Whichever man is bold and brave enough to emerge victorious from this battleground will then march into WrestleMania with a date with destiny, awaiting either a titan or a beast. This is where stars are born. If you can outlast the rest, your legend lives on forever. Tonight, the question looms, who will walk away with the golden opportunities in their hands? The keys to the kingdom await the winner, who is on their way to WrestleMania. The answers unfold inside the unforgiving steel confines of the Elimination Chamber. Who is going to WrestleMania? The chains and steel of the Elimination Chamber await. Three superstars from Raw, three from SmackDown, one golden opportunity. The following is an Elimination Chamber match. Making our way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, Io Sky. There is multiple stories to follow between these six women competing inside the Elimination Chamber tonight. When you look at Friday Night SmackDown's EO Sky, you look at somebody who's been on the cusp of breaking out over the last 12 months on the blue brand. EO Sky has just been waiting to capitalize on that one opportunity. She competed for the inaugural 
Women's World Championship back at Survivor Series in November. It did not go the way of the genius of the sky. Tonight, a chance to rewrite history and make her way to the grandest stage of them all. But this woman looking to make her first appearance at the show of shows. And her opponents, first from Prior Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton. The former NXT Women's Champion Tiffany Stratton made her way to Monday Night Raw in the back half of 2023 and has recently just started to build some momentum for herself on the red brand. Tiffany Stratton turning away the prodigy of Roxanne Perez this past Monday night. Momentum on the side of the buff Barbie is tonight truly going to be Tiffy time inside of the Elimination Chamber. And speaking of women on the cusp of breaking out on SmackDown. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel Rodriguez star continues to rise. Over the last two weeks alone, she has turned away Zoe Stark. And this past Friday night, turned away one of the other women that compete inside this chamber, that being the EST of the WWE, Bianca Belair. Raquel Rodriguez was in the final two of that four-woman elimination contest back in Madison Square Garden in the fall where Shayna Baszler became the women's world champion. Raquel has been itching for another opportunity at the championship gold. Tonight could be the chance for Raquel to punch her ticket to WrestleMania in her home state of Texas. Imagine if Raquel can compete against the Queen of Spades. I'll tell you what, a lot of big egos and a lot of potential opportunities riding on the line between these six women. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. There may be, there may be no one more focused and no one more hungry coming into the Elimination Chamber tonight than the EST, Bianca Belair. Bianca has stood toe to toe with Shayna Baszler, not once, but twice, and even in the fight of her life, was not able to keep down the Queen of Spades. The first round was at Armageddon in December. The second was just a number of weeks ago at the Royal Rumble in Las Vegas, Nevada. Tonight could be Bianca's chance for a third go around with Shayna, and possibly the third time could be a charm if Becky, or excuse me, if Bianca Belair can take on Shayna Baszler at WrestleMania. And speaking of Becky Lynch, the man has come back around to the Elimination Chamber. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch walks down the aisle for the first time since Survivor Series in November. And the man is looking for, just as Bianca Belair is looking for, one more go around with her brand's women's champion. Of course, there is a question surrounding who will be the WWE women's champion going into WrestleMania. Will it be the current champion, the Eradicator Rhea Ripley, or will it be the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka? We're gonna find out later tonight here in Miami, Florida. Becky Lynch has squared off with both of those women, two of her great rivalries of 2023. Could it be a WrestleMania 2023 rematch with Asuka at Mania, or could it be another go around with Rhea Ripley if the man can survive the steel and chains? And there is not one, but another former NXT Women's Champion in this prison tonight. From Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. Raquel Rodriguez, not the only one who's looking for a homecoming at WrestleMania. The prodigy, Roxanne Perez, could have the opportunity of a lifetime, the biggest opportunity of her young career, if she can somehow, someway, survive the Elimination Chamber and make her way to the show of shows.
Well, two of Monday Night Raw's superstars gonna start this matchup. Roxanne Perez and Becky Lynch. Raquel, Becky, or excuse me, Raquel, Bianca, Tiffany, and Io Sky all inside the pods. And here we go, the bell has sounded. We are underway here at Elimination Chamber. If Roxanne Perez, Becky Lynch, or Tiffany Stratton win this matchup, they will challenge for the WWE Women's Championship of Monday Night Raw at WrestleMania. If Raquel Rodriguez, Bianca Belair, or Io Sky come out on top, they await the Women's World Champion of SmackDown, Shayna Baszler, at the show of shows. All remains to be seen who is going to be the last woman standing inside of this structure tonight. When you want to talk about favorites, you got to look at the man, Becky Lynch, who 12 months ago won her number one contendership for last year's WrestleMania inside this very structure of the Elimination Chamber, last eliminating Bianca Belair. Could Becky Lynch go back to back here tonight in Miami, Florida? Well, let's find out who's going to join the party. Third entrant in the Elimination Chamber. It is going to be SmackDown's Raquel Rodriguez. Red hot as of late on the blue brand. Will that momentum continue here tonight? Well, Becky Lynch, other plans. Tying up Roxanne Perez with the submission hold right now. Could have our first elimination early. Perez trying to battle out. Got to wonder what's going through the mind of the young prodigy. Roxanne Perez coming up short against Tiffany Stratton on Monday Night Raw this past week. But cannot let that loss loom in her mind. You got to have short tour, short term memory if we can get it out in this business especially on nights like tonight when the opportunity is higher than ever Becky Lynch and Raquel going at it it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup we'd love to see down the line an inner promotional fight we're getting in the middle of this chamber as another entry is on our way who will join Satan's prison it'll be Monday Night Raw's Buff Barbie Tiffany Stratton Monday Night Raw superstars all in the fray now. Two from SmackDown remain. And the SmackDown woman getting kicked out over the top rope down to the ground of the Elimination Chamber. There's a Raw party inside of the ring. Roxanne Perez taking the fight. To Tiffany Stratton, two former NXT Women's Champions. There's Io Sky, Raquel Rodriguez have held that same championship gold back in their time in the black and gold brand, but Tonight, chance is bigger than ever as Raquel back inside the ring. Spine buster on Becky, not just yet. Roxanne Perez taking the fight to Tiffany Stratton. I think Perez looking to get back at Tiffany for that loss on Monday Night Raw. As Raquel to another cover as we are about to get the fifth participant entered inside of this elimination chamber. Oh, and it's gonna be the EST, Bianca Belair. And wait a minute. Wait a minute, keep your eyes on Tiffany Stratton, who has climbed the pod and just cross-bodied the lower back of Roxanne Perez. And she's out of here. Roxanne Perez, first casualty of the match by hands of Rawls Tiffany Stratton. Well, Roxanne Perez coming up short to the buff Barbie not once but twice this week. First one in and first one out. Roxanne Perez eliminated off that certainly risk taken by Tiffany Stratton. So we're now down to four competing inside the chamber, but it's about to be five as Io Sky will be your final entry. Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch going at it inside of the ring. Remember, as we mentioned, those two women were the final two in last year's elimination chamber. One that was won by the man Becky Lynch. Io Sky entering the fray. Not welcome to the party. In a very mannerous way as Tiffany Stratton brings the fight to her immediately. And there is so much action to keep up with inside of these Elimination Chamber matches. Chaos inside and outside of the ring. And danger looming at every corner. You really gotta do your best to watch your back in this matchup. Try to have eyes in the back of your head as Becky Lynch laying out Bianca Belair. Massive slam that time. And the EST still into it. Yo Sky taking down Tiffany Stratton on the outside. 
Hell and Io, they've had some battles in the past on Friday Night SmackDown. Back in action with each other tonight. Two from Raw, three from SmackDown. Remain as Tiffany Stratton face first, a meeting with the Steel Chains. Contact with the Elimination Chamber is not going to go well as this matchup reaches later rounds. The human flesh not meant to come in contact with that cold, hard chain, but nonetheless, this is the Elimination Chamber, and the match rolls on. Becky Lynch, Neo Sky, in a promotional battle, just like Raquel and Tiffany at ringside. Gotta wonder, Bianca Belair, as we mentioned, as she was walking down the aisle, possibly the hungriest woman coming into this matchup. Could be looking at Raquel Rodriguez as her biggest threat after that matchup this past Friday night on SmackDown. Now Becky Lynch scaling the top rope. What has she got in mind? Io Sky, all kinds of days and a big time forearm by the man. Already one casualty in this matchup. Roxanne Perez started the thing, and of course, may not have been coming in 100% after that battle with Tiffany Stratton on Raw. Stratton taking advantage, the dive off the pod, and Stratton eliminated Roxanne Perez, and may be on the verge of eliminating Raquel Rodriguez. Into the ropes she goes, Raquel just powering through Stratton at time and delivers a big boot. But watch your back as here comes the man and here comes the EST as well. Oh, can we see a little double team action? Bianca and Becky, little wheelbarrow, taking down Raquel. Strange alliance is formed in the middle of the elimination chamber. A trip to Satan's prison is what these Six women were entering tonight, but a trip to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania, is what they could be leaving with. Gotta wonder what's going through the mind of Shayna Baszler from SmackDown, Rhea Ripley, and even Asuka from Monday Night Raw, as the question looms who will be the WWE Women's Champion heading in to the show of shows. Looking at all these potential challengers and some of the matchups we could see. Io, Raquel, Bianca, all looking to step inside of the ring with the Queen of Spades at WrestleMania. Becky, who has waged war with both Asuka and Rhea Ripley last year on multiple occasions, could be looking for another go around. What about Tiffany Stratton, who has been in the ring with both Rhea and Asuka as well on Monday Night Raw? Obviously shortcomings for her. Could be a breakout moment at the grandest stage of them all. Another elimination that time, not just yet. Imagine if Tiffany Stratton starts to rake up those eliminations. Be a breakout performance for the buff Barbie. Wait a minute, sidewalk slam. Referee's a little out of position. Io Sky gonna survive. And another counter. Or I should say another pinfall attempt. And another kick out. And these women gonna have to do more damage. This is one of the nights of very few throughout the WWE calendar year that you're gonna push yourself past your limits. Go big or go home, everything rides on the line. Championship opportunities don't come around every day, and especially championship opportunities at WrestleMania. Sometimes only come around once in a lifetime for some of these women. Now wait a minute, Becky Lynch, dead center of the canvas, disarmor in on Tiffany Stratton. Oh, but look at, you gotta give credit where the Credits to the buff Barbie, tough as nails, tough Tiffany, we better call her after tonight, getting out of that disarmor by Becky Lynch. I'll tell you what, we were talking about a breakout performance for Stratton. It may be a breakout performance for Tiffany win or lose tonight. Already elimination under her belt, and she is surviving with some of the best in the business today. Former NXT Women's Champion, don't knock her efforts. Another interpromotional battle kicks off between Raquel and Becky. Nice fall away neck breaker into the cover on the man. But Becky Lynch is still alive. And a lot of elimination attempts. But hasn't been a casualty in a couple of minutes. Roxanne Perez is the first one to hit the showers. Right now, five women are still duking it out. Another pinfall attempt to no avail. Seen a lot of just strict wrestling between these five women. 
As we said earlier, I mean, the chains of this elimination chamber, it, they ain't meant to come in contact with human flesh, but it's certainly welcomed in this kind of a matchup. And hold that thought, because Raquel Rodriguez sending Becky for an amusement park ride off that neck breaker. Becky kicks out, but damage certainly done. And Raquel's got her eyes locked. Could be looking for a Tahana bomb on the man. She's out of here. Becky Lynch, Becky Lynch is gone. The return of the ring for the man unfortunately does not go her way. Raquel Rodriguez off the neck breaker, followed by the Tahana bomb. Our second casualty inside Satan's prison. Once again, credit where credit's due, Tiffany Stratton, the only Raw superstar still left standing inside of the Elimination Chamber. Imagine if Tiffany Stratton can come alive here, outlast Raquel, Bianca, Io Sky, and make her way to challenge either Asuka or Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania. We'll be making headlines on WWE.com tomorrow, I assure you. All four women inside of the squared circle as the fatal five-way becomes a fatal four-way inside of Satan's prison. Raquel and Bianca pick it up where they left off 48 hours ago in Tampa Bay. Bianca with the counter. Tiffany Stratton gonna intervene. Oh man, look at this. The, the casualties between these four women. Bodies being thrown left and right. Tiffany Stratton laying out Bianca Belair with her own KOD finishing maneuver. You gotta come into this type of matchup with all kinds of different game plans. Unfortunately for the buff Barbie, it does not work out. Stratton thought she had the EST, but Bianca, tough as nails, still into this fight. The Stratton going after anybody moving right now. Yeah, we dubbed Bianca the hungriest in this matchup. It may be Tiffany Stratton. Ready for her breakout performance. Ready for the spotlight. Is the superstar in the making? Uh, great strength there to muscle up Raquel Rodriguez. As Io Sky and Bianca going at it in the far back corner. Oh man, look at Raquel sent over the top rope by Stratton. Tiffany's ruling the ring right now. We stand it while she was walking down the aisle. It rains true once again. This very well may be tiffy time here in South Beach. Bianca Belair with other plans in mind. Face first goes Stratton, not just yet. And who is going to get the next elimination in this matchup? Who is going to be the last woman standing? It's Raquel Rodriguez and Io Sky using that pot as a weapon. My goodness. Io Sky might have a broken nose after that collision with that steel beam. Raquel and Io waging war at ringside. If you want to call it ringside, just the outside of the ring inside the chamber. Bianca and Tiffany going at it in between the ropes. And squared off in one-on-one -on -one matches for now. Anything can happen inside this dangerous Satan's prison. Pain and destruction promised inside the confines of this steel. Into the chains goes Io Sky. Raquel Rodriguez came to Miami with a point to prove tonight. And she isn't going to let anybody, including the genius of the sky, ruin it. But that could be... What's exactly about to happen, not just yet. Man, what a matchup. Inside the Elimination Chamber tonight. The Women's World Champion Shayna Baszler from SmackDown's gotta be looking on. Looking at three potential challengers. Tiffany Stratton, the last superstar from Monday Night Raw. Looking to hang in there and square off with either the Empress or the Eradicator in Dallas, Texas. And you notice how the eliminations has been a little bit far between in this match. Just a testament to the toughness of all four of these women. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Raquel Rodriguez, Raquel spearing Io Sky right through the pod. 
Miami, Florida coming unglued as Raquel throwing Io Sky's body into the caution of the wind. And Io may be out for good. Dragging her carcass away from the battlefield. Will it be an elimination? Somehow Io Sky is still alive. It's a damn shame all of these women can't be lined up for championship opportunities because they all certainly deserve it after this performance, but only one can make their way to WrestleMania. Raquel Rodriguez, she could have got banged up on that maneuver as well, spearing Io Sky right through the pod. That is bulletproof glass that those two women just broke through inside the elimination chamber. No mercy, no remorse. Y'all get the cover on Tiffany Stratton. Stratton still in it. And you gotta wonder what's gonna be the exclamation point on an elimination in this matchup. All four of these women are leaving everything in the kitchen sink inside of that ring. A couple of power moves from Bianca and Raquel that time as they are really dominating the canvas. Bianca muscling up. Tiffany could be going for the combination. This could be an elimination coming up soon. Bianca stacking the offense. Tiffany Stratton may be in trouble here as the EST all kinds of fired up in South Beach. Well, Bianca turning her sights to Eo Sky. I might not necessarily agree with that. As Tiffany Stratton looked to be prone for elimination. Nonetheless, the EST turns her sights to the genius of the sky into the cover. And Eo is still in it. Oh, wait a minute. Another pinfall attempt. Tiffany's still in it. Roxanne Perez was the first elimination. Becky Lynch was the second. Tiffany Stratton looking to send Raquel back to the locker room. Off the victory roll. Raquel's still alive. Man, what a matchup here tonight. Lone Depot Park, Miami, Florida. The road to WrestleMania, hot and heavy. Yo. Down and out, Raquel Rodriguez may smell blood in the water. Has got the genius of the sky on the top. Going for an elevated DDT. Meanwhile, Bianca Belair off the 450 to Tiffany Stratton. She's out of here. Tiffany Stratton's gone. All three women from Monday Night Raw have been eliminated. We are down to SmackDown superstars. Who is going to challenge for the Women's World Championship and take on Shayna Baszler at WrestleMania? We are down to three. Bianca Belair eliminating Tiffany Stratton from the matchup. We are down to Bianca, Raquel. We're picking up right where they left off on Friday night, as well as the genius of the sky. Raquel, eyes locked on Bianca, could be going for a Tahana bomb. Bianca Belair still alive. The move that put her away in Tampa 48 hours ago will not be the exclamation point on her championship desires tonight. Io Sky scale on the ropes. Raquel Rodriguez getting out of dodge. Raquel, I think, knew that Io was going for that huge moon salt, the over the moon salt. Got out of dodge, but unfortunately for her, Bianca and Io are on her tail. Io Sky, as these SmackDown women duke it out, a cross face in. Raquel Rodriguez could easily be tapped down on the outside of the squared circle. Anything goes, false count anywhere in the elimination chamber. Raquel, small package on Sky. Not just yet. It has come down to the SmackDown superstars. We will know our Women's World Championship match for WrestleMania the next time we hear a bell. Bianca Belair has a chance to run it back. For a third time with the Queen of Spades, the third time could be a charm. 
Io Sky and Shayna Baszler. Plenty of battles in their past. Raquel has still been looking to settle the score with Shayna since Survivor Series. But what story is going to be written as Bianca Belair muscles up Io Sky? And that's got to do it. How much more offense can she sustain? Io Sky has been eliminated. Io Sky going by Bianca. We are down to two women. Bianca Belair, Raquel Rodriguez, back where we were 48 hours ago in Tampa Bay on Friday Night SmackDown. And Raquel going right for the kill. The big boot on the EST. Bianca Belair looking worse for wear as Raquel, like a shark that smells blood in the water, looking to seize the opportunity. Man, what an Elimination Chamber matchup this has been. Who is going to WrestleMania? Raquel Rodriguez in firm control in this Elimination Chamber contest. Bianca down and out. Raquel Rodriguez sending Bianca into the corner. Two eliminations for the EST. Tiffany Stratton as well as Io Sky. Raquel eliminated Becky Lynch. Who's going to get that final one, two, three? Nice reversal by Raquel, leads to the elbow. You know, Raquel Rodriguez instituted that Tahana bomb a few minutes ago on Bianca Belair. Bianca was able to kick out. You gotta wonder if Raquel's racking her brain for another answer on how to defeat Bianca Belair. Now, wait a minute. Look at this, going for a gory special. Submission hold on Bianca Belair. Raquel tapping into her roots. Submission inside of the elimination chamber. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Pain being inflicted. Bianca taps out. Bianca Belair forced to give up on her road to WrestleMania. And Raquel Rodriguez has punched her ticket to Dallas, Texas. What an Elimination Chamber matchup. Three from Raw, three from SmackDown entered, but only one can stake their claim as a number one contender. Here is your winner, Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel has scratched and clawed on Friday nights to obtain this opportunity. And the woman who took away her championship desires at Survivor Series will now be the woman she stands across from March 2nd or 3rd in Dallas, Texas at WrestleMania. The women's world title up for grabs. Shayna Baszler will defend against Raquel Rodriguez. What has been a rocky road to WrestleMania already tonight here at Elimination Chamber. But I'll tell you what, the mood is about to change. The Harbinger of Doom carrying cross comes to Miami, Florida with one mission in mind. There has been a thorn in the side of carrying cross for months on Monday Night Raw. And that thorn is named Kevin Owens the 2024 Royal Rumble match winner. And you can look into the eyes of the Harbinger of Doom. He is out for what in his mind is vengeance tonight. Cross wants to ensure that the Royal Rumble match winner does not get his wish of main eventing WrestleMania. Cross is looking to put out Kevin Owens for good tonight in Lone Depot Park. Things really took a turn between Cross and Kevin Owens back at Survivor Series in November. Team Cross taking on Team Sheamus in the traditional Survivor Series elimination matchup. Cross had eliminated Sheamus, Butch, and Ridge Holland, leaving Kevin Owens in a 3 1 deficit in that matchup. But Owens coming back and eliminating Damian Priest, Solo Sokoa, and ultimately carrying Cross from that match 
with the biggest comeback, I would say, in Survivor Series history. Kevin Owens and Cross have been at odds ever since, and Cross has just not been able to get one over on Kevin Owens. Owens went on to win the Royal Rumble match. Cross was eliminated moments prior. These two men have squared off on Monday Night Raw, but have not seen the equation that they would have liked. And Cross really took things to the next level three weeks ago, ambushing the Royal Rumble match winner. After Kevin Owens was successful against Cross's running buddy, Joe Gacy, Cross putting Kevin Owens through that table, and especially what has led us to this no disqualifications match here tonight in Miami. Kevin Owens looks to get through Cross and look towards the WWE Champion, whoever that may be, at WrestleMania. But that is easier said than done. The Harbinger of Doom meets the Royal Rumble match winner. No rules or restrictions live right now in Miami, Florida. And his opponent from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin. Well, outside of the pain that has been carrying Cross, Kevin Owens has been on quite the roll the last few months on Monday Night Raw. Ever since the early fall, Owens was almost in a rebuilding stage on Monday Night. Started from the bottom, worked his way back to the top, and it led him to winning the Royal Rumble match just three weeks ago in T-Mobile Arena. Kevin Owens staked his claim that he was coming for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Who will hold the gold? We find out later tonight as Seth freaking Rollins defends against the monster Braun Strowman. But right now, Kevin Owens cannot look past Karrion Cross. WrestleMania has got to be at the back of Owens' mind. He has got to focus on the task at hand, which is this no disqualifications match against Karrion Cross. And Owens trying to come hot out of the gate and Cross making him pay. Kevin Owens cannot be overzealous tonight. The last time we saw KO was three weeks ago on Monday Night Raw when Cross put him through the table. Kevin Owens, I'm sure, has replayed that moment in his mind time and time again over the last number of weeks. Tonight is a chance at retribution, but Karrion Cross looking for a same result. No disqualifications in this matchup, no count outs as well. Pinfall's gotta take place inside the squared circle and Karrion Cross looking to institute those rules in the early going. Steel steps in hand, realizes Kevin Owens was on his tail and sending him right to the barricade. Tell you what, if the Elimination Chamber matches we are seeing tonight weren't extreme enough, we'll look no further than this no disqualifications match that is on hand between Cross and Kevin Owens. Double-handed slam, Owens right on the floor of Lone Depot Park. But Kevin Owens gonna keep fighting. He has made a career out of getting up dusted himself off and keeps swinging till he hears a bell. Oh no, Kevin Owens with the kendo stick right to the rib cage, and now unleashing a fury on the Harbinger of Doom. Cross might be finding some staples, or I should say some splinters all over his flesh when he gets back to the hotel later tonight. Kevin Owens, with retribution in mind, oh, and carrying cross. That was a stiff shot. No weapons needed that time. Just a mean elbow right to the jaw of the Rumble match winner. I'll tell you what, the road to WrestleMania could not be any more difficult for Kevin Owens. Getting through Royal Rumble is one thing, but still having this ever looming issue with carrying cross that he hopes to settle tonight is a whole different story. And once more, Kevin Owens met with those diamond-plated steps by force of carrying cross. I'll tell you what, Owens is not going to be 100% come out of this matchup. He better just hope that he comes out the victor or carrying cross truly may be spoiling the road to WrestleMania for the Rumble match winner. Look at this on the outside of the ring, just continuing the fight, continuing to wear down Kevin Owens. Meanwhile, Owens just trying to get back into this thing. Great strength shown. Trying to muscle down carrying Cross. Absolutely nothing the referee could do here. Just got to stand there idly and watch these two men beat the hell out of each other. He's only there to count a pinfall or call for a submission. Owens, wait a minute. Underneath the ring has got that table. 
Karrion Cross has got the steps, and first one to swing would be the victor. That was a home run here in the home of the Miami Marlins. Kevin Owens swinging with that table. And got the delivery he wanted, but so did Karrion Cross. Sustained momentum is going to be hard to find in this type of matchup. This very well is going to come down to just who gets that one lucky shot. Karrion Cross. This is where Cross is at his best, where he just beats down his opponent, picks him apart, slow and methodically, wrestles his style of matchup. With no rules or restrictions tonight, Karrion Cross may be more dangerous than ever. Cross picking up Kevin Owens in a nice counter that time. Owens just trying to get Cross off his back. But I don't think it's going to work out in his favor. Absolutely nothing anybody can do to stop this. Cross has been daydreaming about this matchup for months, ever since Kevin Owens embarrassed him at Survivor Series in the world's most famous arena. Kevin Owens trying to mount a comeback. No avail. Carrying Cross issuing his beat down here in South Beach. These two men have squared off on Monday Night Raw. Did not see a finish. Kevin Owens has had run-ins with Cross's running buddy and Joe Gacy multiple times. Cross has turned the lights out on the arena, snuck up from behind. Kevin Owens choke slammed him in the middle of the ring, put him through the table a few weeks ago. Harry and Cross is the ghost that continues to haunt Kevin Owens. But tonight, Owens either faces those ghosts head on and extinguishes them for good. The nightmare that is Harry and Cross may just come back to haunt Kevin Owens. My goodness. Owens over the top, trying to get the momentum on his side in this match, but Karrion Cross is one step ahead. Crash and burn, and the life has been sucked out of Lone Depot Park as Cross is just continuing to inflict damage on the 2024 Royal Rumble match winner. Man, if Karrion Cross gets what he wants tonight, which is not only a victory against Kevin Owens, but to put Kevin Owens out for good. His words, not mine. How does that affect WrestleMania? Well, it remains to be seen. Karrion Cross has got a damn hockey stick, as if he needs that. He's beating on Kevin Owens with it. Owens, wait a minute. Rolls out the big time DDT. Owens now or never to get back into this thing. Cross continues the beat down. This may be over in a hurry. Owens trying with anything he's got left. Trying to muster up some offense. Karrion Cross may have his bell rung off the DDT. And if he didn't already, Kevin Owens ensuring it off the clothesline. Number of stomps there. Kevin Owens coming unglued. Cross to the outside. Will the second time be in Shorm? Owens over the top of the Topekin hero. Owens laying out Cross, and finally the prize fighter is back in control of this no disqualifications match. Carrying Cross, dazed and confused, and that table looming ominously at ringside that was set up minutes ago by Kevin Owens. Carrying Cross, this is not where he wants to be. Owens off the top, frog splash through the table. Listen to the ovation here at South Beach. Miami comes alive for the Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens, as he finally gets momentum back on his side in this match, or did we speak too soon? Carrying Cross crushed through that table by hands of Kevin Owens, but Cross, that sinister destroyer, trying to get back into this match. I'll tell you what, after that table and Karrion Cross going through it, we may finally be at an even playing field in this match. Owens was playing catch up. That table might have even the score. Beautiful senton done. And Owens going for a cover to bring this no disqualifications match to a close. Carrying Cross getting the shoulder up. One of Monday Night Raw's 
top issues, if you will, over the last number of months comes to a head, and Owens willing to risk it all on the road to WrestleMania. Karrion Cross crushed off the moonsault. Owens showing he still has a second, possibly even third gear, ready to tap in by any means necessary. Now it's Owens with the steps. Owens put Cross through that table. It was an eye for an eye for Curry and Cross instituting the table a few weeks ago. But now it's Kevin Owens off the steel steps, once again settling a score. Owens starting to have his way and wrestle his style of match, which is just a bruising, bruising fight. Karrion Cross trying to shake off the cobwebs at ringside. Easier said than done. And Cross is just trying to get out of dodge right now. He knows Kevin Owens' wheels are spinning. I don't know what the prize fighter's got in mind, but it is not going to go well for the Harbinger of Doom. Owens trying. Oh, man. Hold on. Wait a minute. I think he's got a choke. Out of our vantage point, I think Karrion Cross just tackled Kevin Owens to the ground with a choke hold. Maybe a mandible claw at that. I don't know what the hell he was going for. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Owens pulled out another table. Cross did not want to see the light of day on that. Oh man, oh, big time gut wrench at ringside. This fight getting near the aisle way. Free to do so in this style of matchup. Again, no count outs as you've seen and certainly no disqualifications pinfall or submissions got to take place inside of the ring for us to see a close Harry and cross back in control of this matchup but for how much longer will kevin owens kick into a new gear or has he spent his best wish in this match oh my goodness hockey stick Breaking into three, maybe even four, over the rib cage of Kevin Owens. I might have just broken a rib cage of the Royal Rumble match winner, who is now needing the barricade just to stand on his own two feet. Look at Cross, ominously waiting with those steel steps. Certainly no good plans in mind, as Kevin Owens gets met with the steps one more time. Looks like human demolition derby, like a car wreck at ringside right now between these two superstars beating the hell out of each other. And Cross continuing to throw as many shots as he can on Kevin Owens. I'll tell you what, Elimination Chamber thus far has been one interesting night on the road to WrestleMania, and business might have just picked up as Cross is instituting a ladder. Gave Kevin Owens a second to breathe, however. Owens exploded right into the barricade. Cross is lucky the steel didn't collapse that time. And now what has Owens got in mind? Both these two men still with life left in them. Owens going after the table. Cross has got... Oh, wait a minute, Cross has got a even bigger ladder and he's bridging it between the announce table and the ring apron. Things are taking an unnecessary and downright disturbing turn. And a doomsday Saito that may be doomsday for Kevin Owens. Cross is not even going for the cover. He wants to inflict more damage on Kevin Owens. Grabbing another kendo stick as if we need it right now. Owens trying to get to his feet. Karrion Cross has got other plans. Both these men still swinging with fisticuffs. Who is going to be the last man standing? Karrion Cross introduced these ladders. God only knows what the Harbinger of Doom had in mind. Kevin Owens obviously trying to avoid disaster. Kevin Owens knows that his spot in WrestleMania is riding on the line tonight. Not, not literally, but certainly figuratively. Kevin Owens comes out of this matchup so beat up and so much destructive brung upon him by Kevin Owens, or excuse me, by Karrion Cross. There will be no WrestleMania. Oh, man. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Cross is on the ladder. It may come back to haunt him as Kevin Owens soar it through the sky. Miami Marlins Park, Lone Depot Park. Kevin Owens flying like a home run ball. Carrying Cross through the ladder. Kevin Owens has turned Cross's plans on its head. I don't know what Cross has got, I should say what Kevin Owens has got in mind. Table now in play, dead center of the ring. Kevin Owens, pop up power bomb through the table. No! Carrying Cross is still alive. Miami coming unglued in appreciation of the war that we are witnessing. But how, just how, is Karrion Cross still got life left in him? Cross has been put through two tables, the ladder that he set up at ringside moments ago. But Cross so hell bent on ending the career of Kevin Owens tonight that he will fight through the punishment and live to talk about it. Kevin Owens is trying any means necessary to put Karrion Cross behind him for good, but Cross will not stay down. Kevin Owens certainly, all you gotta do is read the back of his t-shirt to know that he isn't gonna stay down. The Royal Rumble match winner didn't be put in this position out of pure luck. Owens has earned the right to go to WrestleMania. He's earned the right for his spot on Monday Night Raw. And if we know anything about Kevin Owens, he's gonna just keep swinging, just keep fighting until he hears a bell. Well, now what? Now what has Kevin Owens got in mind? Scaling the ladder as if he hasn't reached the heights of Lone Depot Park already. Kevin Owens off the ladder! Diving and taking out Karrion Cross. Into the cover it goes again, but Karrion Cross Hart is still pumping. I mean, at what point is Kevin Owens not gonna have anything left to throw? His brain's gotta be racking, trying to figure out a way to keep the Sinister Destroyer down. Karrion Cross with the straight jacket, locked it out of nowhere. Kevin Owens in trouble. Owens got caught. Cross may be ending Kevin Owens WrestleMania's hope and dreams here tonight. Owens is locked up tight. Carrying Cross, not looking to give an inch. Owens fighting out with any means necessary. But Cross still the aggressor. And hanging up Owens on the top. Back into the cover. Cross almost seems desperate for victory right now. Does not want to fall to the wayside and be a stepping stone in Owens' road to WrestleMania. Oh, come on, not on the outside. Another suplex. And it is an absolute car wreck in and around ringside. Tables, ladders, the steel steps exploding. Kendo sticks, hockey sticks. And fists are still flying. Marion Cross sending Kevin Owens back into the ring. A damn near lifeless body, or maybe we spoke too soon. Kevin Owens on his feet. Another exploder in the ring. Falls it up with a senton. One last ditch effort. Kick it into a new gear. This is the fight Kevin Owens is gonna have to bring to WrestleMania. A stunner. And Kevin Owens has stunned his way right through Karrion Cross on the road to WrestleMania. An absolute war of all wars between these two men who have been at odds since November. But tonight, Owens buries the ghost of the past in Karrion Cross. Here is your winner, Kevin Owens! The prize fighter, the 2024 Royal Rumble match winner is full steam ahead on the road to WrestleMania. Seth Rollins meets Braun Strowman later tonight to decide the fate of the WWE Championship. The winner will take on that man in the main event at AT&T Stadium.
But who is going to WrestleMania to challenge the Judgment Day for the World Tag Team titles? We find out next in Raw side of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, the Street Profits, the Usos. Let's take a look at how we got to Miami, Florida here tonight. Over the past three weeks, the battleground of Monday Night Raw witnessed the clash of eight emerging teams, each standing toe-to-toe -to -toe in a war to survive the single elimination tournament. In the crucible of competition, new stars emerged from the shadows, upsets in battle sent shockwaves, and tag team legends resurfaced. But now, out of the chaos, only two teams remain. In the upcoming tournament finals, history hangs in the balance. As Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits prepare to go to war against Jay and Jimmy the Usos. The stage is set for an epic test of tandems, a battle that goes beyond the coveted 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Cup. The stakes are higher than ever, for the winning team doesn't just etch their names into the annals of history, they also catapult themselves into top contention for a chance at the World Tag Team Championship at WrestleMania. Damian Priest and Finn Balor of Judgment Day await their challengers, and tonight, either the Street Profits or the Usos will earn the right to step on to the grandest stage of them all. Only one team will emerge victorious, securing their place in history and earning a golden opportunity. The culmination of the Raw bracket in this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic is upon us, and the question remains, who will rise to the occasion and seize their moment in the spotlight? Who is going to WrestleMania may as well be the tagline of the Elimination Chamber. Up next, the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Finals for Monday Night Raw. The number one contendership for the World Tag Team Titles hangs in the balance. Angelo Dawkins, Montez Ford, the Street Profits. They are up and they want the smoke. They want Balor, Priest on the grandest stage. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 492 pounds. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. The Street Profits rode the Elimination Chamber, took them through the Brawling Brutes, as well as the Creed Brothers, and now they face off with one of the most legendary tag teams of all time, Jay and Jimmy, the Usos. But take nothing away from Dawkins and Ford. They have held tag team championships all across the WWE. And this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic has been their ticket of resurfacing on Monday Night Raw. But can they ride this wave of momentum through the Elimination Chamber and all the way to AT&T Stadium in March? That is the question we await an answer to. Dawkins and Ford, all the tools to get through the Usos, all the tools to get through the Judgment Day and proclaim themselves Tag Team Champions but it is easier said than done. Street Profits, welcome to the Uso Penitentiary. And their opponents at a combined weight of 493 pounds, Jimmy and Jay, the Uso. After nearly two years away from World Wrestling Entertainment, Jay and Jimmy the Usos returning to Monday Night Raw three weeks ago as the eighth and final team in the Dusty Cup, reigniting an old rivalry against Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day, the Usos were successful. The Usos took on the tandem of Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly in a first time ever collision this past Monday night and stake their claim in the finals of this tournament. 
Jay and Jimmy said they are back for a multitude of reasons. New competition to compete in this dusty tournament that they've never competed in, nonetheless won before. And they have also taken issue with the fact that the Judgment Day have proclaimed themselves the greatest team in Monday Night Raw history. But here we go, the Usos and the Street Profits. Here in Miami, Florida, Dawkins and Jimmy kicking things off. This should be one hell of a matchup between two extraordinary tag teams. And as great as these two teams are, it is not going to be an easy task either way of the ring. When we get to WrestleMania and the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, the Prince Finn Balor are awaiting the winners. The Judgment Day two-time World Tag Team Champions as voted by you, the fans, your 2023 Tag Team of the Year. All those accolades seemingly going to the head of the Judgment Day. Obviously can make their claims to be the greatest tag team in Raw history, but there is a multitude of teams that will take issue. The Usos, one of them, the Street Profits, just looking to climb the ranks of the WWE and be able to earn that right one day. All remains to be seen. Fresh legs on both sides of the field as Jay comes in and meets Tez with a drop kick. Dusty Cup has been an awesome watch over the last few weeks on Monday Night Raw. And of course, that is only the Raw side of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. An entire SmackDown tournament begins this Friday night on SmackDown. That will conclude at WrestleMania. SmackDown crowning brand new WWE Tag Team Champions at the show of shows. Jay Uso, little style on that right hand to Montez Ford. The Uso's looking to give the Street Profits a master class in tag team wrestling here tonight. Jay and Jimmy working like a well-oiled machine as they always did. Last time we saw the Uso's, as we documented a few weeks ago, January of 2022, lo losing, I should say, their tag team championships in a unification match to Matt Riddle and Randy Orton, previously known as RK Bro. The Usos taking time away from the ring, felt that they did all there was to do, fought all the teams there was to fight. But new competition across all the brands in WWE, a dusty cup that they've never won nor competed in, and a stake to claim their right as the greatest tag team of all time has brought Jay and Jimmy back to the squared circle in WWE. Make no mistakes about it. These two men, veterans of the squared circle, better than ever inside those ropes. Street Profits got no answer for the Usos thus far. This has truly been, as we said, a master class in tag team wrestling. The Usos in control here at Elimination Chamber. Turned away. There's a tag made to Jimmy Montez Ford rolling to the outside. Turned away the New Day. Turned away pretty deadly, and look at it turn away the Profits tonight. Jimmy Uso tagged in, takes out Dawkins over the top, takes out Montez Ford. The Uso showing why. They are, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the greatest teams to ever step foot inside the ropes. Montez Ford in all kinds of trouble, trying to get out of harm's way that time. In desperate need of creating some distance. And maybe that's exactly what he need. Sending Jimmy Uso over the top rope and Montez Ford trying to rally in Lone Depot Park. Oh, and a baseball slide. Slide into home base here in the home of the Miami Marlins and a crossbody over the top. Street Profits got to get back into this matchup. It has been all Uso so far. And there's another takedown by Ford. Montez Ford eyeing up Jimmy Uso. Street Profits are going to stick to their game plan, whatever that may be. Nice takedown again. Montez Ford trying to take the wind out of the sails of the Usos right now. I would say trying to slow down the offense, but if there's anything we know about Montez Ford as well as Angelo Dawkins, is they'll push the pace with anybody. The big man of the Street Profits, AD, getting tagged in. Jimmy Uso out of the way. Angelo Dawkins looking to be the difference maker for the Street Profits. However, Jimmy Uso 
is reading a different game book here tonight. Oh, wait a minute. Look at him back it up, just like their daddy Rikishi. Down goes Angelo Dawkins. And one step closer to WrestleMania, but Angelo Dawkins still in this fight. Usos, little bit of style, bringing their way to the Elimination Chamber. But the Street Profits did not come all this way to lose to the Usos. Second place trophies are not a thing in the Dusty Cup. It is first or last. And AD muscling down Jimmy Uso. Great strength by the big man of not only the Street Profits, but of the match. And Jimmy Uso. Talking about looking like a car wreck in that no disqualifications match moments ago. Jimmy Uso collapsed inside of the ring like he just got in one. Angelo Dawkins now all over one half of the Uso brothers. And Dawkins once again sends him for a ride. I'll tell you what, Miami seems a little bit split between the Street Profits and the Usos, two fan favorite teams, but only one of them is gonna get their hand raised. Street Profits in control have turned this match on its head. The Usos were all over the Profits in the early moments, but Dawkins and Ford writing a different story. Jimmy Uso sent back inside and going for that signature splash, but Jimmy got the knees up. Homework was done. And looking to get an A on the test, DDT. And Jimmy in much need of a tag, Jey Uso in. But will it be a difference maker? Or is the Street Profits just in too firm control in this match? They are in the driver's seat right now. Tag made to Tez. Double team offense by the Profits here. Working like a well-oiled machine. And Jey Uso sent for an amusement park ride over the top. Montez Ford, Tope Suicida. And Jey Uso doesn't know what hit him. Ford all kinds of fired up here in Miami, Florida. If you thought the Usos were the favorite coming into this thing, Dawkins and Ford looking to change some minds. Into the ropes goes Jay. Nobody home, double leapfrogs. Montez Ford quicker than a hiccup inside of that ring. Jay Uso got tagged in, hoping to be the difference maker, but it has not made a dent for the Street Profits versus the Usos. Jay is down, Jay is hurt. Montez Ford may be closer to the finish line than the Usos desired. Another tag made to Dawkins, and what do these two men have in mind? Wait a minute, little roll. Reversal that time. Big time splash by AD. And Jay Uso still into it. Usually it's Dawkins with the power move. Ford off the top. Desperate times call for desperate, desperate measures, and he got a strike while the iron's hot. Unfortunately, no three count, but damage certainly done. Jey Uso on spaghetti legs. Jimmy sent off the apron. AD could be closing in on victory here. Oh, could have been going for that tilt to roll neck breaker. Jey Uso, however, read the playbook from a mile away. Jay trying to rally here in Lone Depot Park. Sends Dawkins into the ropes. Samoan drop. Jay doing what he does best, over the top with a crossbody himself. The Usos have made a career of big time moments, making big time plays and big time matches. Will they do it all over again here tonight at the Chamber? I'll tell you what, these two teams not afraid to get their hands dirty going after the illegal competitors in this matchup. We've seen it on both sides of the squared circle. Dawkins getting Jay off his tail. Oh man, mean shot. And possibly a difference maker. Angelo Dawkins bringing Jay to his feet. 
back into the ropes he goes. Jay is in enemy territory. Once again, we might see some double team offense here by the Street Profits. They are up. They want the smoke. And Jay Uso stealing the brunt of it. Shooting star. Go for the cover. That could be all she wrote. Montez Ford's going to the top again. Could be looking for a from the heavens elbow drop. Jay still alive. Jay Uso getting the shoulder up at two and a half. We have got a fight on our hands. The race to the finish line to become the 2024 Dusty Cup winners and another Samoan drop out of nowhere by Jey Uso. A last ditch effort by one half of the brothers, but can Jay capitalize on a weakened Montez Ford? Jay has got Ford in enemy territory. Off the Samoan drop. Tag made to Jimmy. Oh, wait a minute. Double team action from the legends themselves. 1D. The 1D on Montez Ford into the cover. Will that do it? No, Montez Ford kicks out. Dawkins in there as well. 1D does not do it. But Jimmy Uso with an Uso splash. Exclamation point. That is it. That is it. The Usos are going to WrestleMania. The Street Profits took control in the second half when the Usos started out hot. But it ain't how you start. It's how you finish. Jay and Jimmy reach the finish line first. 1D. Uso splash. They're going to the showcase. Jimmy and Jay. The Usos were back to remind the world just who the hell they are. The Judgment Day call themselves the greatest team in Monday Night Raw history. Well, now there's another team with a claim to fame. The Usos, Jay and Jimmy, are going back to the dance to battle for the World Tag Team titles. The road to WrestleMania doesn't slow down for anyone and coming your way on saturday february 17th live from state farm arena in atlanta georgia the superstars of raw and smackdown present saturday night's main event what twists and turns will take place in the atl on the road to the grandest stage of them all Find out on the 17th of February, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time at WWE Saturday Night's Main Event. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship! Our next championship match here at Elimination Chamber will decide which one of these Raw superstars walks into WrestleMania as the WWE Women's Champion. An open challenge was issued by the dominating and possibly arrogant Eradicator Rhea Ripley. And she may have bit off more than she can chew as the woman who once stood in her shoes, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, jumped on the opportunity and Asuka very well may find herself back where she was 12 months ago, walking into WrestleMania as the champion. All remains to be seen, but Asuka once stood in the shoes of Rhea Ripley as the most dominating, intimidating woman in all of WWE. And make no mistake about it, Asuka has not forgotten about those times. The second half of 2023 may have been a rocky ship steered for Asuka, but at the end of the day, the resume speaks for itself. She walked in and walked out of last year's WrestleMania as champion. Will she repeat in 2024? This very well may be Rhea Ripley's 
biggest challenge today. Just three weeks removed from possibly Rhea's most dominating performance ever against Liv Morgan at the Royal Rumble. How will Asuka fare tonight? The presence just changes when Rhea Ripley enters the room. And with Dominic Mysterio by her side, the Judgment Day more intimidating than ever. The 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year won Money in the Bank back in July, cashed it in in September, and has held the gold ever since. She has turned away Becky Lynch, not once but twice, cashed in successfully on SmackDown Shayna Baszler, retained her gold over Alba Fire, as well as Liv Morgan, and as Rhea Ripley marches towards WrestleMania, has she ran into the roadblock known as the Empress of Tomorrow. Rhea Ripley brings a different atmosphere than anybody else in the women's locker room. And it is one of the reasons why she has been so successful. Many a times Rhea Ripley has already won before the bell has even sounded. The mental games played by the Nightmare unlike any other across world wrestling entertainment. Well, certainly a big fight feel. Women's Championship from Raw on the line. Asuka, Rhea, let's send things down to the ring. Introducing the challenger from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! And her opponent from Adelaide, Australia, she is the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Well, here we go, Rhea Ripley, your current WWE Women's Champion, your challenger, Asuka. Question that looms over this match. Has Rhea handed over the title for the very last time in her dominating reign? Asuka accepted the open challenge, but has Rhea Ripley gotten too egotistical for her own good? That is the question that remains over this match as Asuka opens things up with a mean palm strike to the jaw. Asuka recognizes game. Asuka rec recognizes who she is in the ring with tonight. Rhea Ripley has stood atop the women's division, certainly by force, ever since the month of September. And Asuka is looking to be the eradicator for Rhea Ripley here tonight on the road to WrestleMania. Rhea's got other plans. This is certainly a test of strength, if you will, figuratively and literally, between Rhea and Asuka. Two of the most intimidating women to ever step foot inside the squared circle. But who mounts a bigger shadow across the women's division? Rhea sending Asuka over the top rope, and Rhea not afraid to get her hands dirty in the opening moments of this match. Sending Asuka to the outside. Again, the mind games of Rhea. Wrestles her style of match. She's always so dominating as Rhea ragdolls Asuka on the ringside area. And there is not many women who are going to do that to somebody like Asuka. Better keep her eye on the ball here. Asuka's going to make her pay. Talk about some of the names that Asuka turned away in her championship reign throughout 2022 and into 2023. Bianca Belair, Shotzi, Tegan Knox, who's been on the shelf for about a year at this point with multiple knee injuries. Asuka turned away Becky Lynch, turned away Alexa Bliss. The list goes on. You know, and interesting enough, Asuka's 
Rain at the top of the women's division. Women's division, excuse me. Hold on, hold that thought. Like Larry, it knocks Rhea off her feet to no avail. Asuka's reign at the top of the women's division really ended last May by hands of Liv Morgan. Liv was able to outlast Asuka in a damn near 20 minute fight for the WWE Women's Championship. That same woman, Liv Morgan, who fell to Rhea Ripley just a number of weeks ago in dominating fashion at the Royal Rumble. If you're looking at it by that aspect, from that perspective, Rhea Ripley. Really a testament to her domination, her power, her strength, her intimidation inside of that ring. Couple of boots there. Stacking up the offense, Asuka able to kick out. And of course, the X Factor that is now at ringside. Rhea Ripley with Dominic Mysterio in her corner. And Dominic was having a rough couple of months since getting traded to Monday Night Raw. Put out there on social media, he needed to find a new home, find a new way. And seemingly the judgment day got in his ear and he has been recruited to the black and purple. So Rhea Ripley has a roll of words. Look at Asuka, look at the strikes from the Empress. Beautiful combination maneuvers by the number one contender. You know, earlier tonight, Raquel Rodriguez staked her claim for SmackDown's Women World, Women's World Champion, Shayna Baszler at WrestleMania. You gotta wonder who is gonna be there to step up to either Rhea Ripley or Asuka for WrestleMania for the WWE Women's Championship. First, we gotta determine who the champion's gonna be at the grandest stage, and that is where we get to tonight's festivities. And these two women throwing some mean shots at each other, and Rhea Ripley back to what we said at the top of this matchup. Game recognizes game. Rhea Ripley knows she's gonna pull a couple of tricks out of the hat to turn away Asuka tonight. Over the top rope. That has gotta be intimidating on the other end of it. Someone the size and stature of Rhea Ripley coming crashing down on you. Asuka's gonna feel that one on Monday morning. Into the cover, but Asuka's still alive. On oh, Rhea Ripley. Nightmare's getting frustrated. She cannot allow herself to fall into that trap because Asuka will certainly make her pay. You want to talk about the mind games that Rhea Ripley has on her opponents for the belt even rings. We used to say the same things about Asuka. Asuka's still just as great as she was during her championship reign. It's just about getting the gold back around her waist. Rhea Ripley allows herself to get frustrated, makes a misstep. Asuka will be back at the top in no time. Double knees to the Nightmare! What is Asuka gonna follow up with next? Wait a minute, I think we know what comes next. Hip attack and it lands flush! New champion on the horizon here in Miami, not just yet. Rhea Ripley gets the shoulder up. Rhea Ripley taking some of Asuka's best offense, combination strikes, the hip attack, the kicks, the knees. Rhea is still into this fight. And now what, look at Asuka, wait a minute, elevated neck breaker, oh no, look at the agility of Rhea off the counter and into the bridge. Down goes Asuka, amazing reversal by the Nightmare. Oh wait a minute, I think Rhea's going I think Rhea's going for an Asuka lock. Maybe a little bit of a different variation, but Rhea using Asuka's own dangerous submission against the Empress. Asuka's obviously profound at executing this submission hold. Has gotta know a trick or two to get out of it, and that she does. Man, Rhea Ripley over the top rope tonight using the Asuka lock on Asuka herself, trying to find a way to keep down the Empress. Desperate times call for desperate measures, but Asuka not looking to be a stepping stone here tonight. Oh man, what a kick. And that might do it. Asuka to win gold. And another close call. You see the enthusiasm that Rhea Ripley's having with these kickouts, almost as if they're desperation kickouts, and she got lucky on that one. Rhea Ripley landing that leg drop on the back of Asuka and now tying up Asuka in a knot 
submission hold. And that is excruciating on the lower back, excruciating on the knees. Something that Asuka utilizes in her arsenal more than anything. Rhea's got Asuka all kinds of tied up. Submission hold. Asuka way far away from the ropes. Can she find a way out? Able to roll over. Rhea goes for a ride. Asuka not enough in her to take advantage though. Back into the ropes she goes and Rhea Ripley sending her for a ride once more. Into the cover. Academic maybe not. Asuka's down, but after that submission hold, that leg drop to the back of the neck a few moments ago, Rhea's found herself in firm control and going back to the well with the submission, realizing Asuka's a wounded animal. She is hurt. Rhea has got Asuka all kinds of tied up and Asuka's forced to tap out. Rhea Ripley with so many ways to beat you between the ropes. Rhea was forced to adapt or perish tonight and against the Empress of Tomorrow. Forced to go over the top, forced to use the Asuka lock and finds a way to lock in a submission hold and tap out a specialist at that. Rhea Ripley's leaving Lone Depot Park, still WWE Women's Champion. Here is your winner, and still WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Well, I'll tell you, that was a fight from the opening bell. Asuka and Rhea throwing everything they had at each other. Asuka with signature offense. Rhea with brand new offense. But in the end, the nightmare was the better woman on the... Wait a minute! Liv Morgan! Lay it out, Rhea Ripley! We have not seen Liv since Rhea stepped on her cold body at the Royal Rumble! Liv Morgan laying out Rhea, and Liv has not forgotten about that embarrassing loss in Las Vegas, Nevada. Rhea was out to use Liv to send the message to the entire WWE that she is the most dominating woman in all of World Wrestling Entertainment. However, Liv Morgan not looking to be a stepping stone in Rhea Ripley's legacy. Liv is back here tonight for the first time since the Rumble, and I think just sent a message to the champion. Well, coming up next here in South Beach, who will carry the WWE Championship into WrestleMania and defend against the Royal Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens, the visionary. Seth freaking Rollins tries to turn away the challenge of the monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman. It was back at the Royal Rumble just three weeks ago that Strowman returned to action for the first time since the summer. And it may have been a losing effort on that night, but Braun bounced right back 24 hours later, tossing bodies over the top rope in a number one contender's battle royal and securing his spot here tonight at Elimination Chamber. But if there's one thing we know about Rollins is that the visionary is always looking for the upper hand. This past Monday night on Raw, moments removed from Braun's huge win over Bobby Lashley, Rollins took matters into his own hands and ambushed the challenger with the title across the face of the monster. Was this sound strategy for the champion or did Rollins light a fire under Strowman that he may not be able to extinguish? We're gonna find out because the WWE Championship is on the line right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. You know, earlier tonight, we saw what Kevin Owens was willing to go through to put Karrion Cross behind him for good. Imagine what he's gonna have to go through fighting either Seth Rollins or this man at WrestleMania. The monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman. Braun made his illustrious return at the Royal Rumble. And since then, 
has been stacking bodies on Monday Night Raw. Becoming number one contender, Bobby Lashley wanted to crack at Strowman this past Monday night, and you saw how that went. Strowman is hell-bent on main eventing WrestleMania as the WWE Champion one-on-one -on -one versus the Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens. And I'll tell you what, just by looking at Braun Strowman, you can make a very convincing case that Strowman may be leaving here with a new piece of hardware. But if there is one thing that has really told the story of Seth freaking Rollins' WWE Championship reign is that like him or not, he finds a way to win. Whether it was a last man standing match, whether it was hell in a cell, the triple threat at the Royal Rumble, Rollins has found a way to survive ever since he won the gold back at SummerSlam in August. Seth Rollins has turned away Sheamus, Tommaso Ciampa, Bobby Lashley, Solo Sokoa, Karrion Cross, and technically even Kevin Owens, though Owens was not pinned in that Armageddon Hell in a Cell match. Kevin Owens looks for a one-on-one -on -one opportunity at WrestleMania. And whether it's Seth Rollins or Braun Strowman defending the gold, if tonight was any indication, Kevin Owens will fight until he gets what he wants. But that is WrestleMania. This is now. And tonight has been filled with WrestleMania implications and possibly none bigger than the WWE Championship being on the line. Seth freaking Rollins, Braun Strowman, Monday Night Raw's richest prize. Let's send things down to the ring. Introducing the challenger from Shiro's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. And his opponent, from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. He is the WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Seth Rollins looks laser focused, but as you saw moments ago, Monday Night Raw going off the air this past week, with Seth Rollins cracking Strowman over the dome with that very championship gold. Has that lit a fire under Braun Strowman? Has Rollins bit off more than he could chew? Or is Seth Rollins playing the game exactly how he wants to? All remains to be seen. Monday Night Raw's main event here in Miami, Florida. WWE titles on the line. Strowman, Rollins, here we go. Talk about a way to get back into the fold for Braun Strowman, making his return three weeks ago at the Royal Rumble, immediately becoming number one contender 24 hours later, and finds himself with an opportunity to main event WrestleMania. This is a huge chance for both of these men. You look at Braun Strowman and the story we just told, the comeback story that could lead him to the main event. My goodness! Over the top goes Rollins. Rollins running away from the challenger. He wants nothing to do with the monster among monsters. We said Rollins might have bit off more than he could chew and might have lit a fire under the ass of Braun Strowman on Raw. And Rollins feeling it head on right now. The Strowman Express looking to run over the visionary. And Rollins trying all he can to get Braun off his tail, but there is nothing you can do with this absolute monster breathing down your neck. Oh, look at Strowman, reverse choke slam, my goodness. You know, Braun, he's always got a vicious style inside of that ring, but there may be a little bit of an edge tonight, an extra added edge, the fire that we talked about, the will to go to WrestleMania. Rollins with that title shot on Monday Night Raw, 
might have put the own exclamation point on his WWE Championship reign coming to an end. Rollins on the outside, it's not where you want to be as Braun Strowman gonna meet him and Seth Rollins meets the floor of Lone Depot Park. Oh my goodness. Braun said you wanted a fight, I'll give you a war. Braun looking to complete his comeback story by defending the WWE Championship in the main event of WrestleMania. Seth Rollins looking to go back to back WrestleMania main events, walking in as the champion. Rollins over the top and luckily is able to skin the cat because Braun Strowman, quicker than a hiccup for a man his size, just got out of the way. Rollins is all kinds of discombobulated in no rush to get back inside the ring and wait a minute here Rollins finally finds a way to knock Braun down the springboard and a senton Rollins is gonna have to utilize his speed his agility and may have to take things to the air as risky as it is more often than not to try to keep down the monster among monsters Look at Braun Strowman, unfazed, not shaken. Seth Rollins shaking and stirred as he gets thrown halfway across the ring. And I'll tell you, Braun Strowman, a very convincing case. We very well could be looking at the monster of all monsters. Braun Strowman defending the WWE Championship against the Royal Rumble match winner Kevin Owens in the main event of WrestleMania. Squashing Seth like a bug. Ooh. Rollins lucky shot. Follows it up with a knee. He is going to do all he can to keep Braun Strowman down. Certainly easier said than done. A swing blade will aid him in that. And look how fast Braun gets to his feet. This guy is not human. Rollins trying to go after Braun. The speed of Braun Strowman, unmatched for a man his size. Another springboard. Rollins gets him down once again. Braun Strowman a little bit slower to get up that time, but man, knocking Braun down is one thing. Keeping him there is a whole different story as Rollins is finding out firsthand. It is not going to be an easy task tonight for somebody who has been in a last man standing match with Sheamus. Went one on one with Tommaso Ciampa in Madison Square Garden. Defended against five Raw superstars in Hell in the Cell. The triple threat at the Royal Rumble. Rollins may be in for the toughest task of his championship reign tonight. He's always found a way to win. But I don't know if there is any escaping this Strowman Express here tonight at the Elimination Chamber. Braun is up. And the monster breathing fire as Rollins off the turnbuckle. Braun Strowman back into this thing. Rollins had an opportunity. Wait a minute. To retain the title. Is that the way? He finds a way to win. No avail, Braun Strowman rolling to the outside here. Braun obviously feeling the effects, take nothing away from the WWE Champion who sails over the skies and this time is able to knock Strowman down at ringside. And now off the apron with a knee and look how quick Braun got up from that initial dive from Rollins and again off the knee. Braun Strowman will not stay down. I don't know what it's going to take as Seth Rollins off the springboard delivers a knee. And Braun rolls right to the outside. It's as if the knee woke him up from a deep sleep. And Rollins trying anything he can to avoid getting these hands by Braun Strowman. Easier said than done as Strowman's got his hands on the champion and there's nowhere to run. Braun again, ragdolling Seth Rollins. And now what has Strowman got in mind? Just trying to get back into this matchup. 
Rollins obviously threw a lot of offense out there, but Strowman, for somewhat looking pretty fresh, you gotta wonder how much was really taken out of the monster. It remains to be seen as we get in the championship rounds here tonight in Miami, Florida. Capacity crowd at Lone Depot Park, all eagerly anticipating Kevin Owens' opponent being decided for WrestleMania as Strowman delivers a monstrous powerbomb. Ron Strowman taking in the glory of his work and continuing to pummel Seth freaking Rollins. I'll tell you what, Strowman might have gone for a cover earlier, but after that WWE title off the skull on Monday Night Raw, Braun is going to make Rollins suffer. Oh, wait a minute. Timely reversal by the champion. But a reversal by the challenger. And back and forth they go. Inseguri. Seth freaking Rollins. Caught in the grasp with a monster, and that is a big boot that's got to feel like running into a brick wall. Did you see the ricochet as Rollins hit the boot and just went flying back? Braun Strowman has not gone for many covers, if any, in this matchup. From my recollection, he is just enjoying the beatdown on Seth freaking Rollins right now. And here we go, here's the cover to win the WWE title. Not just yet, Seth Rollins is still in it. Rollins has stacked a lot of offense in this matchup, but not able to get the three count he oh so desired. Now on the apron, and I don't think this is gonna go well for the champion as he gets dropped from the heights by Strowman on the apron. And Ragdoll back inside the ring. Braun Strowman is seeing red right now. Back inside the ring. Looking to prey on a weakened WWE champion. Rollins ever resilient. A super kick on the jaw. Not enough to keep Strowman down, however. Has just got to keep going. But how much does Rollins have in the tank to keep pushing the pace at this level? Seth Rollins is known to be a cardio machine at times, but when you're getting there with somebody as Braun Strowman, he's gonna cut that down real quick. Rollins has gotta find a way to cut down the monster here tonight, and that very well may have done it. Kick right to the chest, springboard, moonsault to the lower back. Rollins springboard again, another moonsault. Rollins. Trying anything he can to keep the monster grounded. Dropping the elbow on Braun Strowman's spine. You take out the lower back. Strowman, I can tell you this, ain't gonna have a successful pursuit of the WWE Championship if this keeps up. Rollins back on top. Hits the crossbody and into the cover to retain the title. Not just yet, Strowman still alive. Rollins can't believe it. Throwing caution in the wind on multiple occasions. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Running power slam. Braun Strowman exploding off the power slam. Seth Rollins saved by the ropes, but it may not matter because Braun Strowman just came that much closer to the finish line. Man, that is a testament to the toughness of Braun Strowman. Rollins with those high risk maneuvers, stacked them up one on another, and Braun able to bounce back, explodes with the power slam. Oh, wait a minute, Braun. That didn't work out how you wanted it to. Rollins landed on his feet. And it goes behind. This is how he retained the title at the Royal Rumble in the triple threat, but it's not gonna work out tonight. Braun rolling to the outside. I'll bite at this stage in the match. The monster is hurt, and he gets met with a cross body over the top. Seth Rollins has got the monster down. Can he keep him there? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, not on the outside! A pin 
referee on the outside of the ring. Seth Rollins, in desperate times, called for desperate measures, and he may be resorting to a count out tonight. Oh, wait a minute, you gotta be kidding me. The monster's up, the pedigree on the outside, but the monster is still stirring. Rollins can't believe it. Braun trying to tie him up. Rollins ever resilient. A much needed reversal. Rollins is just pacing in there right now. He can't believe Strowman got up off the pedigree. Blockbuster off the middle buckle. Seth Rollins has got to try to find a way, a new way to keep down Braun Strowman because everything he's thrown so far has not been the answer. Braun Strowman is still up. He is still stirring. Rollins may be running out of gas. And the Strowman Express just re-upped. Oh no, wait a minute, another roll up that time, and this time it's Braun that's saved by the ropes. Braun Strowman back and forth, the pendulum momentum begins to swing here in Miami, Florida. Going for the cover on Rollins, will that do it? Another close call in this championship match, but Seth Rollins retains for one moment longer. And Braun, Go for a choke slam, but again another reversal. A lot of reversals in this thing so far. Wait a minute, Rollins! Curb stomp on the monster! Rollins into the cover to retain the title. You gotta be kidding me! The monster is still breathing! Rollins can't believe it. Rollins has literally thrown everything in his arsenal to keep down Strowman, but this ungodly monster is still alive. This man is not human. Braun Strowman, like nothing else, inside of that squared circle. And Seth Rollins is finding out why as the monster begins to come alive. Boom! Oh. The winner will defend the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. The Royal Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens, awaits. And right now, after Rollins threw everything he has at Braun Strowman, Braun may be the favorite to waltz in to AT&T Stadium with the gold. Rollins off the reversal, able to get the upper hand one moment longer. Braun Strowman on an A. Oh, let's call the shot. He's gonna get the best of it here, and it's gonna be Seth Rollins. Braun down off that shot. Rollins going to the top. Frog splash! Signature! And that that's literally that's literally Seth Rollins' game book. He has thrown every play that he has in the tank. What about going back to the well with a second curb stomp? Will that finally be enough to keep the monster down? It is. Seth Rollins has tranquilized the monster of all monsters. Braun Strowman's comeback story will not be complete by main eventing WrestleMania, but there is nothing to be ashamed of in defeat. I can't believe I'm saying it, but Seth Rollins earned that victory here tonight at the Elimination Chamber. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Seth Rollins brings the WWE Championship into Dallas, Texas. Where, we, where he will defend the gold against the Royal Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens, in the main event at WrestleMania.
We know what our WWE Championship match from Monday Night Raw will be at WrestleMania, but it is now time to decide what the World Championship festivities will be at AT&T Stadium. Two more contests to go here tonight in Miami, Florida. First things first, the number one contender to be decided. The following is an Elimination Chamber match. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Our second of two Elimination Chamber matches comes your way courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown. Six superstars. The winner will challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania. Who will hold the gold? We'll find out coming up next in your main event between Gunther and Brock Lesnar. But first things first, we decide the number one contender, Austin Theory, former WWE Champion, 2023 King of the Ring winner, looking for one of the biggest wins of his young career inside Elimination Chamber. And here comes the 2023 Men's Superstar of the Year. The winner of last year's Elimination Chamber match. The man who walks into the main event of WrestleMania in 2023 and left as the World Heavyweight Champion, holding that gold all the way to Survivor Series in November. McIntyre is looking to get back on the path to the top of the mountain and it could start right here tonight in Satan's prison. And his opponents, first from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre took a few weeks away from the squared circle after losing his world title back in November resurfaced just a few weeks before the Royal Rumble and has certainly been impressive to say the least on Friday Night Smackdown ever since. Victories over Ivar, victories over Omos, turned away Braun Breaker in a grueling main event two weeks ago. But now McIntyre walks into familiar grounds. The matchup that started it all for McIntyre in 2023 is where it could all begin again in 2024. And here comes the man who secured the last chance opportunity just 48 hours ago, the rated R superstar, Edge. Cody Rhodes out thanks to Randy Orton, but that opportunity gave the ultimate opportunist one more chance at glory and one more road to WrestleMania. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, Edge! Well, Drew McIntyre isn't the only man who has found success inside the Elimination Chamber. Back in 2009, Edge walked into this very structure and left as the World Heavyweight Champion. The Hall of Famer, the Iconoclast, Edge has been on the hunt throughout 2023 and bleeding into the new year for one more trip to the top of the mountain. And although Cody Rhodes being sidelined due to the devastating assault of Randy Orton is one thing, Edge looking to turn that negative into a positive and it could all start inside of the Elimination Chamber tonight. And speaking of the devil. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. There is something unhinged about Randy Orton as of late. A string of bad luck in high profile situations 
led to the Viper to snap two weeks ago on SmackDown. Ambushed Cody Rhodes in the backstage area, left him broken, beaten, and bloody. And if that wasn't enough, Orton sending Cody Rhodes off a ledge through a spotlight, immediately sidelining Cody Rhodes and taking him out of the Elimination Chamber. Edge and AJ Styles fought for that sixth and final spot 48 hours ago. Edge was the man to secure it. But Cody Rhodes is not in Miami, Florida tonight, thanks to the hands of that cold-hearted son of a bitch, Randy Orton. And I don't think Randy Orton regrets it for one moment. The Apex Predator has been jumping at the bit, salivating at becoming a world champion again. And it could finally start back on the right path here at the Elimination Chamber. Orton has never fought Gunther one-on-one. -on -one. He has had very few in interactions with Brock Lesnar over the years. Either way you spin it, it could be a very interesting main event at WrestleMania if Randy Orton makes his way to the show of shows. Well, all four men have entered the pods. Now we await the two men that'll start this Elimination Chamber match. First up, the one and the only, Ricochet. And from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet. Just three weeks ago at the Royal Rumble, the future of flight, Ricochet took on the ring general Gunther for the world heavyweight title. A great effort by Ricochet on that night in Las Vegas, Nevada, but it was not to be for Ricochet. This man was back in action 48 hours ago on SmackDown in a winning effort against one of his opposers tonight, that being Austin Theory. It was a great match in Tampa Bay, Florida. That was then, this is now. Erase the memory of the Royal Rumble and focus on the opportunity at hand. An ominous presence inside the Elimination Chamber and it's only about to get more destructive. Braun Breaker's got that dog in him. And this is literally a caged animal walking in to his environment. And from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. Meaner than evil. A certified badass. And Braun Breaker walking into the elimination chamber and Braun Breaker welcomes this kind of environment. The destruction, the chaos, it's right up the alley of the former two-time NXT champion. It has been well documented Braun Breaker's unsuccessful outings in high profile matches since his SmackDown debut. Tonight, a chance to turn it all around and start down a new path on the road to WrestleMania. All six men have entered The bell has sounded and we are underway. Ricochet, Braun Breaker, two men no strangers to each other, kicking things off inside Satan's prison. We saw how destructive this matchup was earlier tonight with the six women, three from Raw and three from SmackDown. Raquel Rodriguez from the blue brand outlasting the hellacious structure and is on her way to WrestleMania. Who is gonna throw their name on the marquee with her? We find out right now. Ricochet and Breaker have had their run-ins in the past. Go back to late summer, early fall on SmackDown. Reigniting that little bit of history in the midst of the chains and steel as Ricochet, nice tilt to whirl on the badass Braun Breaker. It'll be very interesting to see how this matchup progresses and that one-on-one is -on -one about, about to become a three-way dance in a matter of moments. Ricochet going for an early cover as who is going to join the fray? 
It is the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Orton, who took out Cody Rhodes, enters another Elimination Chamber match in his illustrious future Hall of Fame career. Orton doesn't give a damn who you are. Ricochet, Breaker, Fury, McIntyre, and Edge all better watch out because Randy Orton may be more dangerous than ever. Orton and Ricochet, a lot of history in recent months between those two men. It was not one but two victories over Randy Orton that propelled Ricochet into that championship match with Gunther at the Royal Rumble, and I am sure the Viper has not forgotten. Ron Breaker sending Ricochet to the outside. Right near the waiting arms, that slithering snake, Randy Orton. Let's see who's going to join these three gentlemen. Will it be Edge, Theory, or McIntyre? Our answer awaits. And it will be the man from the ATL. The same place that hosts Saturday night's main event on the 17th of February. It is Austin Theory entering the Elimination Chamber. Theory and Ricochet. Back where they started 48 hours ago on SmackDown. Great matchup between those two men. Could have went on either side of the field, but the one and only was the better man on that night. And Ricochet looking to be the best of the best here at Elimination Chamber. Going to take out Orton, nobody home. Orton focusing on Austin Theory. Ricochet into the waiting arms of the war dog, Braun Breaker. Man, bodies being thrown left and right in this Elimination Chamber match so far. McIntyre and Edge awaiting their pod like caged animals. Who is going to be let free into the wild? And it's the Rated R Superstar, the man who won the last chance match just two days ago in Tampa Bay against the United States Champion AJ Styles. Edge fell to Brock Lesnar three weeks ago at the Royal Rumble. Imagine if the stars could align and Edge could once again meet Brock or maybe even run it back with Gunther at WrestleMania. All remains to be seen. You remember Edge was originally no longer eligible to wrestle Gunther for the World Championship, but thanks to Randy Orton, that stipulation has become null and void. Breaker with a spear on the Apex Predator, but Orton's still into it. Not sure if Breaker got the full head of steam like he usually does on that spear on the outside. Little bit of limited space, but nonetheless, five men entered all inside the ropes, and here comes the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Last year's winner. This matchup is what propelled McIntyre into the main event of WrestleMania Saturday 2023, where he won the World Heavyweight Championship is tonight where it all begins again. All six men have entered the field. Edge trying to eliminate Ricochet that time. Ricochet still in us. Austin Theory going after McIntyre. No love lost between those two stars. Battled it out last year at SummerSlam for the World Heavyweight Championship. And I'll tell you, Breaker and Orton, get a load of those guys. They've been at each other's throats the last few minutes. Remember Breaker a few weeks ago on social media sent out a little diss to guys like Edge and Orton. And wait a minute, hold that thought. R-K-O. And Breaker still into this, but barely, just barely. As we were about to mention a few weeks ago, Breaker sent out a diss on social media talking about the war dogs of the past. And Breaker was looking to steamroll over all of them. But Randy Orton writing a different tale. The DDT moments ago, Breaker's down and out, and Randy Orton could be looking for a second consecutive RKO. Ron Breaker's got that dog in him, but Orton just put him down. Braun has been eliminated, and the chaos not slowing down. Holy hell. Drew McIntyre looking to end Austin Theory's night on a sour note. Theory through the plexiglass pod. And a lifeless body being dragged away. 
Drew McIntyre hell-bent on getting back to the dance. This is what WrestleMania means to these superstars. A chance to challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship hangs in the balance. Austin Theory looking to eliminate Randy Orton. No avail that time. Got Edge and Ricochet. First time ever battle in the midst of this chamber between those two men. They've been going at it for the last number of minutes. Who's going to be the better man as Edge misses wildly off the top? McIntyre stuck between a rock and a hard place in Orton and Theory, two men who he has been at odds with in months past. Two of his arch nemesis throughout his world championship reign last year. Edge and Theory documented history between those two men. One-on-one -on -one at Clash at the Castle, fought with their respective teams back at Survivor Series. Ball game, 6.30 by Ricochet. Theory still alive, but another close call. Man, what an elimination chamber. Not only night this has been, but match this has been thus far. Orton and Edge going at it. No shortage of history there. The stories that ride into this elimination chamber match as good as golden. These are six, now five, of SmackDown's best. Duke get it out for the main event of WrestleMania. Austin Theory looking to get back at Ricochet for that loss 48 hours ago. May have just done it by ringing Ricochet's bell that time. Back into the corner. Edge and Orton going at it. Edge looking to stick it to Randy Orton for another time in his career, but the Apex Predator still in this match. We said it earlier, we'll say it again. Randy Orton may be better than ever, more dangerous than ever. And these superstars have been finding that out thus far. Breaker finding out the hard way, the first casualty of the matchup. Ricochet out, edge in theory. A town down to Drew McIntyre. Tire still alive, but another close call in the midst of this elimination chamber collision. And now Randy Orton off the stomps to eliminate Ricochet. That'll do it. Has been eliminated. Orton stacking the offense. Those signature stomps stomp the heart out of the one and only and an RKO to the Scottish Warrior. McIntyre kicks out again, but how close is this match right now? Going for another one. Well, I believe McIntyre, we have to get a closer look. I believe McIntyre has been busted wide open, ladies and gentlemen. That is not going to go well for the Scottish Warrior as we enter later rounds in the Elimination Chamber. Certainly not with Randy Orton on his tail. Randy Orton eliminating Braun Breaker, eliminating Ricochet. The Viper is on a warpath inside Satan's prison. The Devil himself looking to make his way to WrestleMania. We are down to four inside this SmackDown represented chamber matchup. And casualties has been the word of this match thus far. Pods have been shattered, blood has been shed, bodies flying left and right. McIntyre and Orton squaring off. Those two men have had several awards last year, as have Edge and Austin Theory. Rivalries reunited inside of the Elimination Chamber, reinvigorated on the road to WrestleMania. McIntyre. Future shock DDT to Randy Orton for the elimination. Not just yet, Randy Orton still in it. And McIntyre thought he had him that time. Randy Orton on spaghetti legs. McIntyre delivers a Claymore kick to the Apex Predator. Edge with a spear on Theory. Orton's Randy gone. Has been eliminated. Theory kicks out. Chaos, Anarchy, Elimination Chamber. 
McIntyre has eliminated possibly the current favorite in Randy Orton, Edge. Has got Theory all kinds of tied up after that sphere. Theory holding on. Theory taps. Theory's eliminated. Austin Theory has been eliminated. We are down to two. Two men who are at odds throughout 2023 for the World Championship. Edge, Drew McIntyre, who will finish their story at WrestleMania. Both these men looking to get one more shot for the big gold belt. Edge was chasing it all throughout last year. One more chance to go to WrestleMania. Drew McIntyre looking to reclaim the gold. He lost in the world's most famous arena. McIntyre sending Orton out of here, eliminating the domination that was Orton in this match. Edge doing what he did multitudes of times throughout the last few years, and that's defeat Austin Theory. But now, these two broken, beaten and bloody warriors squaring off inside the chains and the steel. McIntyre's busted open. Edge is busted open. Edge is down on the ground, and McIntyre misses wildly off the elbow. McIntyre might have just costed himself. Uncharacteristic, high-risk attempt, and the Rated-R Superstar looking to capitalize. McIntyre elevated, and back out of the ring he goes. Wait a minute, it could be Edge this time. Looking to soar through Miami. May have thought against it, probably best choice for the Iconoclast. And still getting the best, McIntyre's hurt. And Edge, of course, 48 hours removed from that matchup with the United States Champion AJ Styles on SmackDown. Neither of these men anywhere near 100%. Both the tanks got to be getting close to E. But who is going to be able to rev up the engines and cross the finish line in this Elimination Chamber match? Edge and McIntyre fought one-on-one -on -one at King of the Ring last June. Triple threat in July with Randy Orton. Fatal five-way, which these two men found each other at the final two in that match back at No Mercy in September. They've teamed up. They've squared off. Edge and McIntyre with tons of history on SmackDown last year. Tonight they are back in the ring in the squared circle with each other, hoping for one more opportunity at the World Heavyweight title. McIntyre off the backbreaker. Going for a dose. And it's something as simple as just getting dropped on the knee. It's got to be worse for Edge. And wait a minute here. McIntyre, the behemoth that is the Scottish Warrior, has scaled his way to the top of the pod. We got a flying Scottish Warrior. Cross body off the pod. McIntyre goes to the corner. Miami has come unglued. Play more kick. He's going to Mania, he's going to Mania. Not just yet, Edge kicks out. Edge somehow is still in this match. McIntyre is in disbelief. McIntyre, caution in the wind, absolutely thrown off the pod. Luckily landed, took out the Rated R Superstar. A Claymore kick. But Edge wants this more than anything in life. One more chance to go to the top of the mountain to challenge for the World Heavyweight title. It has been his dream throughout 2023. His hopes bleeding into the new year. But Drew McIntyre has desires to either run it back with Gunther or have another date with the Beast Incarnate. Four years in the making. Only one of these men can main event WrestleMania for the world title. Edge off the reversal. The rated R superstar coming alive. Man, how does Edge have any more left in him? Got crushed by a monstrous Scottish warrior soaring through the skies of Miami. The Claymore kick. 
Somehow Edge is still working here as he sends McIntyre over the top. Adrenaline, the hopes and desires. That is what is fueling Edge inside of this chamber match. McIntyre face first off the pod and face first off that steel grate. Man. Satan's prison as vicious as ever. McIntyre trying to get Edge off his tail. These two men waging war. Who will get the momentum and keep it? In this elimination chamber match as McIntyre delivers a powerful clothesline. Again, it's Edge sending McIntyre back into the ring. It is anybody's ball game here in the home of the Miami Marlins. McIntyre off the reversal. His shoulder block. Edge trying to create some distance. McIntyre avoiding the rated R superstar. Edge off the headbutt. Open wound to open wound. Oh no. Edge is in the corner. Eyes locked sharp and a spear delivered with emphatic force. Edge is gonna go to WrestleMania. This is all she wrote. But Drew McIntyre kicks out. McIntyre kicks out. Oh my goodness, and Edge keeping his foot on the gas pedal, realizing it is now or never. Claymore! McIntyre explodes with a kick. One, two, three, no! The matchup lives on. McIntyre and Edge have thrown their absolute best shots. A legendary final two in the Elimination Chamber matchup. McIntyre's lifeless body sent out near the chains as the ultimate opportunist tries to find a new way for victory. What is it gonna take? One of these men is gonna have to reach in and rip out the heart of the other, take away the dreams, take away the soul, the desire to go to WrestleMania and challenge for SmackDown's richest prize. Edge has still got enough strength to muscle up McIntyre, and that has been some of his best cards in this match, using the surroundings to his advantage. McIntyre, a wounded warrior on the outside, the rated R superstar, a shark, but unfortunately is met with another. Reversal by McIntyre. And now what does Drew have in mind? Edge gets sent right into the chains. As we said earlier tonight, those chains are not meant to come in contact with human flesh, but inside the elimination chamber, all bets are off. And now it's Edge into the pod. Oh, wait a minute. McIntyre again with a spear to Edge through the pod. Desperate times call for desperate measures. The Claymores haven't done it. Maybe a spear to the man who does it best right through the surrounding walls will be enough. McIntyre dragging the carcass away from the wreck into the cover. Drew McIntyre is going back to the dance. Back to back Elimination Chamber victories. Drew McIntyre looking to rewrite history all over again at WrestleMania. Tonight is where it all begins again for the Scottish Warrior. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. That was a war of all wars, and Drew McIntyre outlasted five of SmackDown's best. The Scottish Warrior is on his way back to the main event at the grandest stage of them all, 
WrestleMania! What a match here in Miami. World Championship awaits. The road to WrestleMania doesn't slow down for anyone. And coming your way on Saturday, February 17th, live from State Farm Arena in Atlanta, Georgia, the superstars of Raw and SmackDown present Saturday Night's Main Event. What twists and turns will take place in the ATL on the road to the grandest stage of them all? Find out on the 17th of February, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time at WWE Saturday Night's Main Event. Well, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, the road to WrestleMania just continues to heat up. We now know that Drew McIntyre awaits the winner of our upcoming main event in March in Dallas, Texas at WrestleMania. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, a Titan meets a beast. This may as well be Godzilla versus King Kong, and you can pick your poison on who's who. The ring general, Guther defends his World Heavyweight Championship in a first time ever collision against the alpha male of our species, Brock Lesnar. Little bit of history to catch you up. We speculated for weeks that Lesnar was on the hunt for a championship match and that he was. And after Lesnar turned away the challenge of the Hall of Famer in edge at the Royal Rumble, the beast set his target. Guther, of course, retained his championship over Ricochet, but moments later was met with the fury of the storm that is Brock Lesnar. The Beast arrived, delivered not one, but two F5s heard round the world. And that one message sent was all it took to bring us to tonight's event. So before we head down to the ring here in Lone Depot Park, let's take a look at the tail of the tape between these two competitors. Pretty even in terms of size and stature, which is certainly a rare occurrence for Brock Lesnar's opposers inside the squared circle. Guther, of course, coming in the reigning and defending World Heavyweight Champion. He has held that title since Survivor Series in November. Championships of the United States and the United Kingdom have graced the ring general throughout his career, and of course since debuting on Friday Night SmackDown in December of 2022. Guther has an outstanding record of 23 wins and only one defeat. On the opposite side of the squared circle, we have the beast, Brock Lesnar. This bona fide Hall of Famer, his accolades are well documented. 10 times Brock has been to the top of the mountain here in the WWE. In the early years of his career, he achieved the status of Royal Rumble winner, King of the Ring winner, and even WrestleMania main eventer. Lesnar has held championships everywhere. He has taken his talents over the last 20 plus years, but tonight is the night. The Beast looking better than ever and looking to obtain another trip to the grandest stage of them all. The time for talking is over. It's time for a first time ever fight in Miami, Florida. Lesnar, Gunther, World Heavyweight title is on the line. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. It is main event time in Lone Depot Park, Miami, Florida. The road to WrestleMania is meant with the fury of the storm. That is the beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. The alpha male of our species. 10 time WWE and world champion. Lesnar looking for number 11. And we now know that Drew McIntyre awaits the winner of this matchup at the grandest stage of them all. 
WrestleMania in March. Will he run it back? Four years in the making with Brock Lesnar, or will it be the rematch of the 2023 match of the year against the ring general Gunther? Either way, you spin it. Nothing but Beast are heading towards the main event of WrestleMania for the big gold belt. Lesnar, Gunther, McIntyre. Two of those three men in the Lone Star State. Tonight has been about answering the questions regarding the show of shows. One more question to be answered. The Beast Incarnate set his sights on the Ring General. And we main event tonight with this first time ever collision. And here comes a man with no fear. He will look into the eyes of the beast and he will say that I will stomp you out to retain my title. Gunther! 23 and one. One of the most dominating, intimidating forces ever in any squared circle across the globe. Gunther is not scared of Brock Lesnar. Lesnar got the best of the ring general at the Royal Rumble, came up from behind and dropped him with two emphatic F5s, but that was on a sneak attack. Gunther is well prepared tonight. And the ring general will look into the eyes of the beast and face him head on, because that is how confident Gunther is in his abilities from bell to bell, and you can't argue. The proof is in the pudding. Just look at the record. 23 wins and only one defeat since his SmackDown debut. United States Championship in his rearview mirror. World Championship since Survivor Series. But who takes the gold in the AT&T Stadium? Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! And his opponent from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Gunther! This may be the Elimination Chamber event, but there was no occasion more big than this fight to go on last and be your main attraction, your main event here in Miami, Florida. The lights are on bright. The gold is on the line. SmackDown takes center stage for the World Heavyweight Championship. It is the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, the Ring General Gunther, the bell has sounded. Your main event is underway and Lesnar exploding out of the gate as we expect nothing less. I wouldn't expect a collar and elbow and a feeling out process between these two titans. King Kong and Godzilla are meeting in the middle of the city right now and everybody better get out of harm's way. This match is certainly unpredictable to say the least. You look at the record of Guther, 23 wins and one defeat. And you almost always look at Guther as the favorite, but tonight is a completely different story. When you're in there with the Beast Incarnate, one of the most destructive forces in WWE history, Brock Lesnar, anything can happen and everything will. And Lesnar, big time boot scrape. Lesnar has had a couple of opportunities at the WWE Championship, whether it be for the title or number one contendership over on Raw, but ever since that free agent status came to be, Lesnar has made the most of it. Saw a challenge in Guther and said, I'm gonna take that fight to try to win the world title. And Lesnar certainly willing to bring the fight to the ring general. 
Brock Lesnar on Gunther's tail as he sends him into the barricade. Lesnar willing to wrestle his style of matchup and Lesnar willing to be the aggressor, which something, which is something, excuse me, that Gunther is not certainly used to. Gunther always the favorite, always the aggressor, usually with the momentum on his side from bell to bell. But tonight, a completely different story. Brock Lesnar is looking to expose Gunther here at Elimination Chamber. Gunther's got a chance to write the biggest chapter in his legacy here tonight. Who is going to be the better man? Who will defend the gold against Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania? In the ropes he goes. Welcome to Suplex City. Very few men are gonna be able to take Gunther for those kind of trips, but Lesnar certainly will welcome it. Into the cover he goes to win the title. Lesnar's gonna find out, however, that it takes a whole lot to even get close to keeping Gunther down. Only one man has been able to do it. That was the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Last year at SummerSlam ended the reign, the United States Championship reign of Gunther. And Gunther took that loss and took the anger from it and focused in on it, used it as motivation, as aggression, and it led him to winning the World Heavyweight Championship at Survivor Series. And Gunther gonna use that same aggression and adrenaline on the Beast Incarnate tonight. He has to, it's his only way. It is anybody's ball game here in Lone Depot Park. We want to thank you for joining us at the Elimination Chamber. One hell of a night it has been on the road to WrestleMania. Lots of questions getting answered. Raquel Rodriguez will challenge Shayna Baszler for the Women's World Championship. The Usos will challenge the Judgment Day for the World Tag Team titles on Monday Night Raw. Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins set the lock horn for the WWE Championship. All that coming your way at WrestleMania in March. Drew McIntyre awaits his opponent for the World Heavyweight Championship. Who will it be? Gunther has turned this matchup on its head. And just as we said, there is very few men who are going to be able to take Gunther to a Suplex City-like matchup. There is very few men who are going to be able to topple the Beast and dominate him in this fashion. And you are looking at one of them in the ring, General Gunther. Gunther has turned away challenges, whether it was during his reign as United States Champion or so far in his reign as world champion, such as Ricochet, Edge, Cody Rhodes, Rey Mysterio, AJ Styles. Gunther has been in the ring with some of the best of them. Bobby Lashley last year at WrestleMania, but none like the Beast. They don't call him the alpha male of our species for no reason. Brock Lesnar, here he goes again. One German does not let loose. Making a dose. He's going for the three-peat. Suplex City, Gunther down and out. Brock Lesnar could be obtaining his 11th WWE World title. Into the cover he goes, but Gunther still into this match and that was right after the two. Gunther not even waiting for the last second hesitation. The ring general making sure Lesnar knows that he is still in this fight. Brock Lesnar could have been eyeing him up for an F5. Alex to send him into the corner, realizing Gunther still got some strength left in him. Oh man, I don't know what Brock's got in mind this time around to try to send Gunther for a ride from the top. is an interesting strategy that does not work out. Gunther creating the distance, much needed at that. Now the world champion sending Lesnar into the ropes and Gunther drops down, goes behind. Lesnar outruns the champion this time. Who's gonna get the one final blow? Oh man! No respect, no remorse, no mercy shown by Gunther off that lariat. Levels the beast. And Gunther realizing he's got to mix up the offense tonight. 
Drop kick to the outside. Guther doing his darndest to keep his opponent on his toes. And Brock Lesnar is being met with a full-on wrecking crew by the ring general. Brock Lesnar is wrestling somebody he has never fought before. First time ever matchup. Guther is a different breed. Guther goes behind. Lesnar off the reversal. Guther could have been going for the chokehold. Brock Lesnar says otherwise. Here we go. Great strength shown by the Beast. Lesnar unable to capitalize. Guther springs. Power bomb. Will that do it? Lesnar kicks out. Lesnar kicks out. Guther unable to retain his title just yet. Caught Lesnar lacking, delivered the power bomb, but the beast is still breathing. Guther just trying to take the wind out of his sails. If a man can't breathe, he can't fight. Guther going for an overhead again. Lesnar off the reversal. Wait a minute. This could be ball game. Brock Lesnar to win the World Heavyweight Championship. No! Guther kicking out. Powerbomb does not bring us to a finish. The F5 does not either. The storm continues. Both these men throwing some of their best shots. A testament to the toughness of both the champion and challenger here at Elimination Chamber. Guther into the corner. Brock Lesnar, oh, big time reversal there, much needed. By the champion, and Brock Lesnar on the outside. Guther once again back to the top. Uncharacteristic, but willing to do any means necessary to retain his title. Again, Lesnar takes the bullet at ringside. And Guther. Looking to stack the offense once more. The beatdown commences. I'll tell you, tonight may be the biggest win in Gunther's career if he can keep down Brock Lesnar. But a win for Brock Lesnar would be the culmination of a year's journey back to the top of the mountain. My God, Gunther is not letting up. The suplex, the chops right into the barricade. Six. Referees at a count of six. Brock Lesnar is in deep trouble of being counted out here. Guther willing to resort to any means necessary. Lesnar's in. Lesnar's still alive. The matchup rolls on. Brock Lesnar still with the desire to become world champion on the road to WrestleMania. Guther met with a shot to the buckle. I don't know what Brock Lesnar's got in mind, but he is toying with the champion and that time he eats the buckle again. What is it gonna take? It might be one more F5 or one more power bomb that puts the coffin, puts the nail in the coffin of this match, or it may just be this simple, yet oh so effective bear hug. Dead center of the ring, nowhere to go for the champion as Gunther, couple of elbow strikes. Gotta do anything to get the beast off his tail in a big boot. And a desperation pinfall, Gunther. Just trying to keep the beast down. And you see a rare occurrence. Guther is beginning to get frustrated. You never see that. Guther very rarely is sweating his opponents like he's sweating the alpha male right now. This is one of the most interesting situations as a viewer we have ever found Guther in in his SmackDown career thus far. Biggest defense of his championship reign just yet. Possibly his biggest opponent ever. Will he thrive under the pressure, under the spotlight, or will he crumble to the beast? 
And these two men are just throwing live rounds at each other in the last few moments. Brock Lesnar looking for his pound of flesh against the ring general. Gunther in need of the ropes just to get to his feet. And back and forth the momentum swings. Gunther scaling the ropes. And off the top, that behemoth goes. And now what? No pinfall attempt. Gunther's going right for the kill. Drops down, legs wrap, submission is locked in. The animal, the beast, that is Brock Lesnar, may be beginning to fade. The alpha male may be losing his spot at the top of the kingdom. Oh, wait a minute. Never say never when Brock Lesnar is in a fight. Reversal. More shots being thrown. Sue Plex to Gunther. My goodness. What a heavyweight collision for the big gold belt here at Elimination Chamber. Lesnar off the ropes. Down goes Gunther. Lesnar just needs that one final blow. You could feel it, whether it's a Kimura lock, an F5, whatever it may be, something to keep down Gunther once and for all. Counter, wait a minute. Going for a second power bomb. does the ring general. Steering Lesnar clear of the bottom rope. Gunther into the pinfall. No, Lesnar's still alive. Lesnar's still alive. The slight hesitation pulling Brock away from the ropes may have costed the champion. Two power bombs and all the offense. Not enough, but Gunther with his eyes on the prize. A third power bomb. That is it. That does it. Gunther with the most impressive and monumental victory of his career. The Beast has been slain on the road to WrestleMania, and you can thank one man, the Ring General, Gunther. Here is your winner, and still, World Heavyweight Champion, Brock Lesnar's name to the list of victims that have stepped up and been stepped on by the ring general. The world heavyweight champion now looks towards a Survivor Series rematch months in the making with the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre in the main event of WrestleMania. There is a story to be told between the Scottish warrior and the ring general, and the next chapter will be written this coming March at AT&T Stadium at the grandest stage of them all. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.